Hello, my little thieves. It is Ying here, and welcome back to another stream. How is everybody today? Um, I just woke up, which is great. I had food, so I'm good. I hope everyone else is good. I'm feeling very full though, because I ate noodles, uh, and then I drank water with that noodles, which is not the greatest idea. Uh, reason? Well, soup. That's that's the only reason why. Otherwise, I would be perfectly fine. Also, hi, Yang. Nice to see you here today. How are you feeling today? How are you today? Yang? Hello? I can be heard, right? Tired? Oh no. Oh no, she's tired. What did you do today to make you tired? Okay, cool, cool. Just making sure, just making sure. Uh, while we're here doing our chatting, I'm just, um, just doing my daily so that we can go straight into it. Um, a whole day of chores? Oh, right, okay, I see. <laughs> I see, I see. I'm probably gonna do a fair bit of yawning today because, um, yeah, I just woke up, so. Uh, I would try not to yawn, but I cannot deny that I probably will without even being able to help it. But it's okay, it's okay. Fantastic, I know, right? I fixed it yesterday. Uh, yesterday, as in the day before yesterday, I slept normal because I was really fucking tired. And then I woke up, uh, I woke up at 7 in the morning, which was pretty normal time. And then yesterday, well, technically this morning, I decided that I couldn't sleep, so I didn't sleep until... Oh, I, I want to say I couldn't sleep until 9 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, 9 a.m. in the morning, and then I only woke up like two hours ago. I love my sleep schedule, it's great, it's great, it's fucking beautiful. I know, it only took 24 hours for it to be ready. Only two, two, well, not two hours to be wrecked. It only took a day for it to be wrecked. It didn't really take. It didn't really take that long, to be honest. I should really try to refrain myself, but sometimes I cannot. Refrain myself from doing things that will keep me up. But oh well. What's done is done. Excuse me. And you know what? It's perfectly fine. It's it's not like um if I had something to do during the day then I would say it's probably not okay. But I barely have anything else to do during the day. And if I don't do it during the day, then after stream I'll just do it then. So I do it during the night. So it, it, it technically it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Technically. All right, it doesn't make that much of a difference. It may, may have only taken some time for me to like wreck my sleep schedule. Uh, 
but at least I slept. I know some people who don't even sleep, alright. Also, also, wait, is there something else I wanted to say? I feel like I wanted to say something, but now I don't know what it was. Yeah, I have no idea what it was I was gonna say. Oh my god. I forgot you guys can't see a thing I'm doing right now. So, um, hi, hey, hello, welcome to the stream if you're uh, joining us just now. Uh, hello, let me down please. I'm just like doing my dailies real quick uh, before we properly get started. Oh. Um. Wow, okay. I have one more daily and then we can properly get started. Well,. I say that, but we're gonna start anyways. We're gonna start anyways. Uh, so you guys know Genshin doesn't like it. It doesn't like Worry. the game capture. Don't fall so on this scale is no impediment. here we go. We can keep moving. There we go. Let the games begin. Um. All right. So we're gonna continue from where we left off last time after I finished my daily. Uh, which is the, the... Oh my god, I already forgot what it's called. The Adepti. 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 The deer. The beautiful deer that he is. Uh, we're gonna continue from what they told us to do. Uh, which was to find some people. I do believe. So we're gonna go find some peeps. Um... We're gonna go find some peeps after we get rid of these guys. Come on, come on, come on. Rain outlines your fate. Beg for mercy. Alright. Bye bye. Bye bye. Alright, awesome. More speed. Oh, that's a problem, isn't it? Let's get rid of these guys first. They're gonna be most annoying. One more. Shut up. And then we are done with this guy. And then now we have this dude to get rid of. Don't put me. Speed up, man. Get out of here. Got lucky that I said, get out of here. I even dodged that. Voila! Alright, I'm done. Right? Okay. So, the Wang Shu is the closest, so we'll go to this first. And then we'll go to the Wang Shu first. Wang Shu? Wang Shu. Weather is not bad today. Oh, crud. Wang Shu? Yeah, Wang Shu. More speed. Add Ash. All right, all right, all right. Oh my God, Catherine, give me my stuff. Thank you. I don't think I have enough yet to make a, a wish. I don't think. Let's check. Yeah, I'm short of 200 to make a wish. Uh, let's see. That's down there. Cools. The Wong Shu Inn. All right. Okay. Now we're actually getting started. Oh, this seems to be Wang Shu Inn. Oh no. Why would you do that, Paimon? This place seems basic. Are we really gonna find an adeptus here? Well, you never Let's know until we walk up. around. Paimon, Re 
can still be on the balcony. <laughs> Doubt we're gonna find him in the kitchen. Could it be true? What I've heard? No. It's probably not true. The jo Jong Jong Li is very much alive, anyways. Um. I was gonna say something, now I can't remember what it was. Damn. Oh well. We'll, we'll continue onwards. Hello, Mr. or Mr. Or Mrs. Adeptus. Higher. Oh, upstairs, alright. Let's go upstairs then. Hello? Are you here? Oh, right, okay. Cutscene. Mm -hmm. Oh, mask oh, in the way. He's not here? Hello? <sighs> oh, wow. Oh, wow, look at you can see the mountains. To the blind, oh. everything may not be as it appears. Oh, hello. It's Shell. A sigil of permission? You came prepared. Though this only prevents me from hurting you myself. Doesn't stop you from getting hurt in other ways. Too much contact with our world is breaking the rules. Oh. Mortal souls are not as robust as those of Adepti, nor can your blood carry this level of Adeptal energy. Mm. It's for your own good. Leave. Now. But, the uh, but, but, but we have... Wait a sec, we came here to... Ugh, Paimon's peeved. All he does is think about himself. Paimon wants to give him an ugly nickname. But if you take off an Adeptus, the only thing you'll probably ever find in treasure chests is cabbages. Blech. What's wrong with ca Paimon? What's wrong with cabbages? <sighs> Guess we should go ask the boss lady of the inn about just how she manages to talk to Adepti. Okay, we can do that, I guess. Let's go do that. Can we just fly down? Yep. And explore up. Who knows? Oh my god. Hello, noble. Hello, a distinct but elusive dress sense. Defined yet a typical facial features and followed around everywhere by a floating elf companion. Hmm. Nope, can't place you. Oh, you've already met Xiao. Yes, I have. And you pronounced his name correctly, surprisingly. <laughs> Not bad. Not often he's in a good enough mood to agree to see people. That's his good mood? Oh, yes. The Adepti are very hard to come by. Many people go their whole lives praying to them, never once actually getting to see one. When the Geo Archon built Liyue, he borrowed power from the Adepti. Liwe. Liwe? Liwe? I fucking don't know how to pronounce wise anymore. Oh my god, I want to hit my face on the table. But most of them only know how to protect Liwe by fighting. So for many millennia, it has instead been humans who have led Liwe. Whilst Adepti have lived hidden away on the outskirts. She didn't finish her sentence, so I'm finishing it for her. You really know a lot, huh, boss lady? <laughs> it's not boss lady, it's just boss. Anyway, seeing as you have the favor of the Adepti, things should be a lot easier. Well, if you want to know my opinion, if you keep Xiao in a good mood, things should be okay. Good mood? Can't really imagine what a good mood looks like for that vigilant Yaksha. <laughs> Will be interesting, won't it? Come to think of it, I've never seen him smile either. How about this? You go see the chef for a bowl of almond tofu and a plate of whatever it is you're best at making. Oh my god, I don't even think I have fucking ingredients for that. Almond tofu is one of the few human foods Xiao likes. Why did you the pronounce it? To you. What the fuck? You pronounce his name correctly 90% of the time and then proceed to pronounce it wrong. Bruh. <laughs> Up to us, eh? What do you think you're the best at cooking? Mm. Wow! 
Never heard of that one. Paima wants to try it. But if we're going to be cooking for an adeptus, perhaps a satisfying salad would be the safer choice. If you're going to say that anyway, why did I even have a choice to pick? The fuck? I don't think I have the ingredients to make... Oh, wait, I actually have to do good. I could have just gone and cook it. But I guess I have to actually go find the chef and ask him, right? If I can use the stupid ass kitchen. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? What are you doing out here? Can't you see I'm on a break, kid? Scram. Scram. Whoa. This chef guy's service is about as good as that Wagner guy's back in Mondstadt. <sighs> I see. If it's for the boss, then guess I don't have a choice now, do I? Oh, uh, sorry, dude. Bruh, I could wait a few minutes. But my heart's not really in it right now. Not enough to make a dessert as painstaking as almond tofu. And why is that? A fencer's hand must be steady. So too must the hand of a chef. But my hands... I'm... They're not steady. Because, uh... A, a traveler once told me that this inn... ...is haunted. And then just now, just now, in the kitchen, I saw something. Something not right. This chef looks so intimidating, but speak of ghosts and he becomes weak. Well... Yeah, I can't blame him. <laughs> ghosts are kind of terrifying. I keep thinking. Even Wang Shu In isn't safe. I can't keep a steady hand for something like almond tofu. All right. In the name of high-quality almond tofu, we need to go check this kitchen out. Oh, so I don't have to make... Okay, cool, cool. I don't have to make it, that's fine. If I don't have to make it, then that means I don't have to go fucking buy the ingredients. But I didn't see anything when I came down here earlier. Did you guys see anything? I didn't see nothing. Hello? I don't see anything. Doesn't seem to be anything. <sighs> It's but a child! What do you mean? <coughs> Paimon, shut up. It is just a child. What could a child possibly do? What? Uh, uh, you saw it too! There really is a ghost! Yeah, but it's a kid. What could it possibly do? What? How could I- Okay, so he's useless now. What do we do? Forget it. Let's just go see the boss lady again. Bruh. Bruh. If this is the case, I might as well just go make it myself. <laughs> Scared of something so insignificant. Hard to believe he was once a notorious bandit. Mm, mm Hard indeed. You don't seem that afraid of ghosts, boss lady. Gods and ghosts. I've seen it all before. Come to think of it, others don't seem to know there's an adeptus here at the inn except for the boss lady. Shh. Say any more and you'll be divulging my little secret. Oh. Right. Best you two be off. Go see to it that that little ghost doesn't go scaring anybody else. Not that I'm ordering you around. It's like the Adeptus said. Mortal souls are not as robust as those of the Adepti. So as not to be harmed when dealing with the Adepti, you can start by practicing with that ghost. But how should we persuade the ghost? There is a calligraphy painting in the inn known as the Witness Sigil. It's been in circulation for over a thousand years. Go take a look at it. Once you have, look for a place outside where you can see the exact same Witness Sigil formation. Okay. Uh, where's the this one? This one? Wait, no. Which one? Oh, upstairs, upstairs. Okay, okay, okay. You could have at least told me it was upstairs. Where is it, this boy? Uh. Okay. Okay, right, got it. I'm just gonna jump off the building from here, if that's okay. It's probably like downstairs, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. Um. Oh wow. All right. There she is. 
so scary. Quick, you! You grab her! She's trying to get away! What? We have to follow her! If it's as the boss lady said, she won't disappear like last time! What the fuck? Wait, so do I have to do that again? I didn't even realize that I was gonna get that so quickly. Oh, do I have to find another one? Oh, wait, no. I just have to chase her. Where did you go? Come back! Please come back? <laughs> I don't even fucking know. Hello? Oh my god. This is fine, this is fine. Oh, she's over there, okay. Oh yeah, I see her, I see her. I see her, I see her, I see her. Hello? Little Hantu? Oh, wait, what the hell? Oh... Hang on. I didn't think I managed to hit that, but okay. Hello, little one. Oh. Oh my god! Bro! Surely it's not possessed! Haha, bitch! Will be mine! Shudder! Ha ha! Rain cutter! Crush! Oh my god! Please, please let me, let me, let me, let me! Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh you fuck, I forgot. More speed. Can you please come down? Can you please come down? Wow. Alright. God damn it. Are you gonna come down yet? I should've just stayed. I should've just stayed! I should've just stayed! What the actual fuck? Oh my god, I fucking what? Oh my fucking god. Ah! Eggs. Let's just give this to Kaching real quick. Are you coming down now? Thank for mercy. Please just fucking go down. I beg of you, you little wee piece of shit. Oh, yeah. wait, what, what's it doing? What's it doing? Oh. Are you already doing this? More speed. Oh my fucking god. Whoopsies, 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 whoopsies. Can I please? Can I please? Whoa! Okay, okay, you son of a bitch. God, please, 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 please go down, please go down. Oh, thank fucking God. Silly Joe, Billy Joe. <sighs> Finally caught you. Paimon's pooped. Why are you the one tired? I was the one doing all the fighting. Let me just adjust my headphones real quick. 
And by real quick, give me a little bit because my hair is in the way. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, but I got good news. Um, so I emailed Steam uh, yesterday night, uh, last night, and they just got back to me saying that everything is fine. Um, I'm not banned. And I also informed Discord and they said that they will investigate and look into it. So yeah, everything is good guys. In, in that uh, respect. Uh, onwards with the game. Okay. Does gaming won't tease the travelers at the end anymore? Aww. Next time, you can come play with Dusky Ming. Sure, I will. Sure. If you don't come and play, Dusky Ming will come find you. Alright, that's understandable. Sure. I could do that. This one. That's not that much, but that's fine. Let's just teleport there. It's ten times faster. It's ten times faster to just teleport there. Hello! Okay. Alright, so we have to go talk to Scaredy Chef. I'm gonna call him that. Scaredy Chef. Oh, excuse me. Hello, Scaredy Chef. What? You really got the ghost to promise to stop haunting the inn? Yeah. <laughs> wow. You really are something. I know, right? I am in your debt. Yeah, so make me that almond tofu. Please, wait a moment. I'll make you the smoothest, silkiest bowl of almond tofu. <laughs> My hands are steadier than ever now that she's gone. Oh yes, I need, I need to I need to make another wait. No, I don't. I already have. <laughs> I already have it. It's fine. Right? I have the salad, right? Oh, hi. Bitch. I have the salad, right? Question mark? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Uh, let's check. What's almond tofu? Look, I got the singular one almond tofu. Wait. Aha! I do have the set. I do have a salad. Cool, it's awesome. Hell yeah, let's go. Hi, Xiao. Xiao, I bring a gift. You two, again. Yeah, again. I, I bring I bring you a gift. Wait, don't go disappearing again. What's this? It's a bowl of almond it's tofu. It's your favorite almond tofu, as well as this distant traveler's best dish, a Quick, tell him everything before he finishes eating. What the fuck? Rex Lapis. How could this be? I can't imagine it. Though times have changed, I've never imagined a Leoa without him. The ruling Qixing. Just what role have they played in this? <sighs> I will seek Moon Carver, Mountain Shaper, and Cloud Retainer. It is time they too made their decisions. Will the Adepti take over his role in Liyue? The Adepti interrogate. Adepti do not turn on their responsibilities. I have my reasons to not want to be tainted by the mortal realm, but responsibilities are responsibilities. Indeed, indeed. Our god is the god of contracts, after all. Oh, yeah, I forgot that that was his nickname. Oh, my god. Wait, Paimon still has one last question. Hmm? That dusky Ming, she's... When conquering demons, on occasion, you can come across spirits who have never hurt anyone, yet are also not yet able to be moved on. So I asked the innkeeper and the boss if they could keep her here for a time. So really? Wang Xuin was looking after her. Really keeping a wide range of business going, huh? <laughs> they really are uh, uh, Adeptus uh, Hangout uh, Ghost Daycare? I don't know Did I seriously just call the inn a daycare? Hang on, wait a minute Wait a minute, wait a minute 
Ah, okay, okay, okay. It's it's doing it for it's doing it for me. It's doing it for me. Next one's up here. I've been all over the map. I don't even <laughs> I don't have to walk there. <laughs> all right. Uh should be back here. Yeah. Next adeptus. Hello. What the fuck? Have mercy, almighty Adeptus. I beg you, show mercy upon me and my brother. Spare our lives. Who are you? What's going on? I don't know. You ask me. I asked you first. Exactly. I asked you first. I asked you second. No, don't, don't you dare fucking say that. Oh. You enjoy safe passage in Joyun Karst. It can only mean one thing. Eh? You must be Adepti messengers. Sent here to rescue me and my brother. What? What is he talking about? Oh, have mercy, mighty messengers of the illuminated Adepti. I beg you to save us. My brother and I, we only came here because our family is poor. And we heard tell of treasures hidden in the amber of Mount Hulao. What? What? Wait, what? It was stupid of us, but all we wanted to do was find enough treasure to sell and support our family. You know, there is something of abundance called jade, and you can very easily mine that and then sell it. A lot of people are doing it, so you could go into that business. We followed the path up the mountain, but suddenly, the amber that swallowed up my brother Li Dang... Oh, wow, okay. I ran away and made it this far before it dawned on me. We were trespassers in the abode of the Adepti. And this was our punishment. Mm, yeah, it's unsurprising then. Not surprising at all. I had no idea how to rescue my brother, so I just started praying for the Adepti to have mercy. Right here on the spot. And now, that long last... Two messengers come to my aid. Oh my god, I don't know why you think I'm here to help you. But whatever. What? We're not Adepti messengers. We just want to find the Adepti like everyone else. No, no, no. You you must be messengers. You have to be. I have no idea which Amber trapped him. Please, you have to rescue him. I beg you, show me some Adepti mercy. <laughs> Wait, it says, oh fine, I'll go look And the other ones. Of your transgressions, your predicament, and your repentance, one must become aware. <laughs> do, do I, do I, do I dare? Do I dare? Yes. Thanks be to the Adeptus of Mount Hulao and to their messengers. Never will we be so foolish again. Whoa, check you out. When you speak like that, you actually make a pretty convincing Adeptus. That was the point. Anyways, let's go find this. Paimon was gonna ask him about where to find the Adeptus, but he seems pretty one-track mind about rescuing his brother right now. So, he said that Li Dang got trapped in Amber somewhere on Mount Hulao, and that they were following the path the whole way up. So let's follow the path down from here, and make sure to be on the lookout for Amber on the way. I love that I love that she said on the way up, but I didn't come up. I came from the top down because I already went yeah. yeah. That's so cute. They have little slimes inside. Oh, they've encased the little slimes. Also, what no, it's not jades, it's core lapis. God damn it. Core lapis, right? I think. Yeah, core lapis. They're in abundance. I just got three. I'm pretty sure that you can get more. Just find the right places. I'm gonna go crash down on this one real quick. Oh, whoa! Oh, that was. Oh, shit! Shut up! Beg for mercy! Oh, you. you fuck! How dare you dodge my attempts to kill you, the squishy squish? Beg for mercy! Hell yeah, it's easy peasy, easy peasy, easy peasy. Next one. Boop, boop. Oh, there he is. 
Oh, wow, you're alive. What happened? You, you rescued me. Oh, thank you. Oh, and have you seen my brother? His name is Lee Ding. We were climbing the mountain together. Ding and dang. I just hope he didn't get trapped in Amber too. He made it to the top. That means he should be okay. Oh, thank you. I will head up to find my brother now. Here's hoping I don't run into any more Amber on the way. Uh, you better fucking not, because I'm not gonna spend time looking for you again. Oh my god. Look at all this Amber. If only I could be bothered with the slimes. <laughs> I didn't- I love that they were like, oh, you climbed up the stairs, right? No, I climbed down. Paimon assumes that we climbed up the stairs even though we clearly climbed from the top. Alright, alright, hello. Hello, we're back. Hello, we're back. Thank you for rescuing my brother, oh mighty messengers of the illuminated adepti. What? No. I mean... Like everyone else, we've heard that there's an Adeptus living in Mount Hulao. Regular folks like us would never have the chance to meet them. No way. Unlike you guys, you're Adepti messengers. So it's a whole different story. We've only seen two. We haven't seen the one up here. Anyway, we have trespassed in the realm of the Adeptus for long enough. We should get going. Thank you, mighty Adepti messengers. Uh, you're welcome? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, messengers. You didn't even finish your, your sentence, dang, Boy, but right, it's bye. it's super helpful if we actually were Adepti messengers. Cause it seems like this Adeptus has got a real temper problem. But it's not like we've done anything wrong, so... Oh. Who dares trespass on my mountain? Oh, it's... Yo, stop it! Foolish mortal, come forth and receive your punishment. Bro, can you please finish your sentences? Why is the game cutting off their sentences? Hello, I don't wish to receive punishment. Punishment, I come with the, uh, the, uh, what is it? The thing of permission? You intrude upon the sanctity of Mount Hulao. You destroy the amber of my mountain. And you free a thief whose freedom is not yours to give. I'm sorry. The thieves' ignorance was an affront to the Adepti. But your actions are an abomination of the highest order. Wait, we can explain! A sigil of permission. One was unaware that such things still exist in the mortal realm. He's a very beautiful bird, I'm not gonna lie. In the beginning, Rex Lapis cast them for the mortals with his own hand. Few were made then, and thousands of years on, fewer still remain. Speak. One shall listen to the matter which brings you here. Then one shall verify the truth thereof. You would be wise to speak the truth. For Liyue is not so far from here that one would be easily deceived. I will speak only the truth and nothing but the truth. Rex Lapis. Assassinated? At the right of dissension? What mortal in Liyue, nay in all the world, would conspire to commit such foul treason? Or perhaps the more pertinent question is, what power in this world could aspire to achieve it? Rex Lapis charged the Adepti with the protection of Liyue, and we have always honored this duty. As the people have prospered, so have we gradually withdrawn into the mountains. Indeed, this was a gesture of goodwill towards humanity. But now, alas, Rex Lapis, gone. Traveler, of the matter you have relayed, one has become aware. One now knows why Moon Carver has sent for us. I love that he says one uh, when he refers to himself. Once one has dealt with certain matters here that require my attention, 
One shall convene with the other Adepti. Paimon can. Adepti always have magical powers in storybooks. Seems it's true in real life, too. What? <laughs> what? They, they write stories about Adepti with powers, even though this is clearly a, um... You know what? Forget it. I'm you not know, even gonna question like it. how grass is actually Adepti hair, and rivers are actually Adepti saliva. There must be something similar going on with the amber. Your nonsense knows no bounds. This amber is produced by a flower that one has planted here, called the Karst Crawler. The majority of the plant is hidden underground. When stepped on, it produces amber to trap the invader. After taking up residence here, one planted many Karst Crawlers to ensure that the tranquility of the mountain would remain undisturbed. Over the years, they have helped to prevent many disturbances. But in the process, they have also trapped many curious things. Oh, so the amber is alive? Correct. Thus, one may not leave this place in its current state, for fear of the risk to innocent lives in one's absence. One will depart as soon as one has attended to this matter. One trusts that the manner of your departure will be swifter in nature. You're not wrong, but I'm not gonna walk down the mountain because I'm not gonna risk my life. You know what? Yep. Thank you for uh, convening an audience with me, Mr. Crane Adeptus, sir. Uh, thank you very much. We're gonna go to the top and glide down. It's probably gonna be easier for me to glide down rather than um what's the word? A walk down? I don't even know which direction I'd be going if I walk down. It's way easier if I glide down. So let's just get to the top. If I can get there. <laughs> oh I remember. Alright, oh, okay. Yeah, I remember. Mm hmm See that? I already did that. Oh my god. Time to scout. Jesus lord, that was scary. Alright, uh, all right. who is here? Which Adeptus is here? It's the final Adeptus. Adepti. Adeptus. Hey! Who put this table here? They've even set it ready for dinner! There's a wine jug and everything! Ooh, they even have the guest names carved into the seats! Here sits Retainer. Here sits Guizhong. Here sits Rex. Maybe Rex is short for Rex Lapis. But Paimon has no idea about Guizhong. As for Retainer... Hmm... <gasps> That's it! When Mooncarver was going through the names of his Adepti buddies, he said there was one called Cloud Retainer. So this must be where Cloud Retainer and the other Adepti have their dinner parties. Mmm, parties maybe not the correct word, Paimon, but okay, sure, we'll, we'll, we'll take that. <laughs> How about we cook up some extra special dishes for the Adepti? We're sure to get Cloud Retainer's attention that way. But what do Adepti even eat anyway? Paimon has no idea. I mean, Xiao really liked the almond tofu. Hmm. People must make offerings here all the time. Guess all we can do is look around the area for any leftovers. Maybe that'll give us some ideas. Um, do you think maybe it's at all possible that the Adepti might like to try some sticky honey roast? I mean, if that's the case, Paimon, I have like a bunch of those, right? Let's check real quick. Pretty sure I have a bunch of those. Sticky honey roast, yeah. Delicious sticky honey roast. I have 20. I have more than just a few. Uh, okay. Uh, look for traces of- Oh, oh I actually have to go look. Alright. Let's 
Let's see what they cooked over here. They have mushrooms. It's very clean here. Whoever cooked here last obviously likes to keep things neat and tidy. Time on beds, they were making an offering to the Adepti. Looks like we got us some matsutake and some raw meat. And what do you know? The recipe is right here. This chef was a super organized person. What do you get? Uh, guess I'll find out. Give me a second. Where is the... It would be here, right? No? Oh, here. Oh, meat rolls. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Next one, next one. It is up there. Let's run. We have time, but um, let's run for it. Why not? Boing. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we have here. Someone has definitely cooked here before. Do you think they were making an offering? Looks like they didn't use all the ingredients. Let's see here. We got some snapdragon, some lotus heads, some tofu. Whatever they were cooking, it sounds complicated. Hey, look over there. They left some notes too. Yup. It's a doozy. Paimon's not surprised they had to write it all down. It's a lot to remember. We should read it carefully. Alright, uh, let's just grab all this. I don't see any tofu, I see the... I see the, the lotus heads and the snapdragon. I didn't see any tofu. Oh, but apparently I got given some tofu. Anyways. A jewelry soup. Ooh, interesting. Interesting, interesting. So we got jewelry soup, we got meatballs, I assume. Uh, we got one more thing, and that's the- I assume that's the entrance to the Adeptus house? I don't know. Oh, wait, when did I- what the fuck? Let me up! Let me up! Let me up! <laughs> Alright. Uh, where is the last one? There it is. Fox baby! Fox baby come back! Woo! Oh, fuck. There we go. I need swords to be able to get that real quick. They didn't even leave anything here. What Whoa, the fuck? The ground is covered in flour. <sighs> what a messy chef. Hmm, seems there's meat in this pot. But Paimon can't tell which kind. Do you think whoever cooked this made it as an offering to the Adepti? You know, the amount of times that we looked at the pots and you said, do you think it's the offering to Adepti when we're sitting right next to a table where the Adepti eat food? Hmm. Paimon can't quite imagine an offering made of flour and meat. Huh? Our messy chef dropped a piece of paper on the floor. Ew, and there's a huge footprint on it too. But footprint aside, maybe it has something to do with this mystery dish. Get oh my god, please, let there be a footprint on it. Okay. Uh, we go back. Oh, excuse me. We go back in the middle. Um... Give me the frog. Give me the frog. Rip it. Rip it. Rip it. Oh, wee. Hello. Offer up food for cloud retainer. Okay. So, offer. Oh, I need to actually make those. Okay, 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 okay. Right, you got it. You got it. I'm gonna go make some. Alright, let's make some of. Uh, Okay, I have enough to make this. Uh, yes! Perfect! Wonderful. Next one. Uh, jewelry soup. 
Huzzah! Alright, so we need to... Do we even unlock the last one? Where is it? Oh wait, hang on, hang on. Where's my little buddy? Why are you not equipped? What is that last... Wait, what is the last one? I don't even know what that last one was. Okay, we did that one. Oh, more meat. I already had that. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. Who knew I could go inside? No, 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 no. I somehow made that. I didn't even realize I would make that. Hello? Hello? Cloud retainer? Oh no, it's- t oh no. Hello? Visit the Adeptist abode. I don't like that- mm. I don't like that we're going in there and need to fight. I, I'm not really keen on the fighting. Oh wait, we're not fighting? Hmm. One senses the presence of a sigil of permission. One knows not why you have come, though the sincerity of your offering is clear. Hence, you shall be granted an opportunity. Find your way through mine abode, and you shall receive an audience with the Adeptus whom you seek. She sounds pretty. Oh, I got potatoes. Oh my god, I can make more hash browns. Ah, uh, nope. No, my sword. Oh my god, that's not what I want. Oh my god, I missed. Let's light it up. Speed of press. Oh my god. Oh my god, go down, go down, go down. Go down already! No! You did what now? You did what now, you son of a bitch? Let's light it up! Oh my god, please. Did you see that one? It went flying. It went flying! Let me do my thing. Let me do my thing. Let me do my thing. Let's light it up! Let me do my thing. Alright, alright. They apparently didn't miss, but I thought that they did. Oh, there's two! I didn't even see the other one. Yee! Ha ha! Shudder! Come here, you. Voila! I forgot that there's not as much of a disadvantage with the Thunder Boys. What's this do? Aha! I see, I see, I see. Look, that platform is moving! So that's what this button is for! Oh, interesting, interesting. Where's the Adeptus? Where am I going? Oh my god, hello. Miss Adeptus, please. Hi, boys. You guys are too fucking easy. You guys are too easy. Get out of here. More speed. 
Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> I know I said get out of here, but you didn't have to go flying like that. No! Oh, the apple! Oh, what the fuck? No! Oh, that's too bad. Well, that's okay. No, I didn't mean to do that, alright? I guess I wanted to go the other way first, right? I'm gonna guess and say that's correct. Yeah, I needed to go there first. Before I go up there. I don't know if I even need to go up there. Yeah, that's fine. Hello? Oh, wow, okay. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, I feel like that's the goal, so I'm gonna go the other way first. Oh, I was gonna try and slide. I was think I was thinking I was still playing Apex, and I was gonna try and slide. <laughs> Close, 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 close. Yeah, I was legit just gonna like click control and slide. There's no way for you to get up there. Where's a wind current when you need one? Well, this is not Monstat, so I'm not surprised that there isn't a wind current. And two, I'm not here for that. Oh. back I love the music this is so nice this is so cool All right, go this way oh this is a uh... Figure out if I can turn it from. Mm. Yeah, I guess from here I have no choice but to go over there. Oof. Man, the soundtrack in this place is so cool. I like the soundtrack. Sounds very nice. Very cool. <laughs> Why was that faster? Oh, interesting. Oh, right. I guess I guess I have, a, I have to in a pattern. Alright, alright. That's easy enough. One here. And then this one. Awesome. Cools. Let's do the next one. Middle. Furthest. Furthest. Okay. This is fine, this is fine. My memory's fine. Not really. And then... Let's this one. It up. Huzzah! Alright, one last one. If I'm silent for this, I'm sorry. I'm trying to remember. It's not the greatest of remembering things. Let's light it up! Oh, 
Oh thank god, alright. Let's light it up! I thought I did it wrong. I thought I did Let's it wrong. Light it up. Ah, well guess what, Paimon? There's your wind current. Okay, that's everything. Alright, Paimon, you wanted a wind current. There's your wind current. What the fuck? I know this doesn't actually make it any faster, but it's just fun to do. I turned it the wrong way. Oh no, I turned it the right way. Okay. I thought I went the wrong way, but it's fine. He's fine, he's fine. Why is it still saying that I need to go up there? Awesome! Cools. Huh. I'm really enjoying this soundtrack right now. I kind of don't want to finish this just to stay here a little bit longer. really just do that on a fluke. I just did that on a fluke. I didn't even think I was gonna make it right. Alright, okay. Are we gonna meet with the Adeptus now? I don't know why I keep calling it Adeptus and not Adepti. Hi, how am I doing? I'm doing great, Potatoes. How are you? Alrighty. Potatoes. That's good to hear. Radish. Alright, let's go up here. Hello? Oh, there she- Oh, she's so pretty! One is most impressed. The path that leads through this abode defies those of ordinary abilities. The one before you is the Adeptus Cloud Retainer. Now speak of the matter which brings you here. You surmise correctly. In fact, even Gui Zhang and Rex Lapis themselves Third. found one's technological accomplishments to be worthy of commendation. This place is huge, and there are so many mechanisms. Do you really have this whole place to yourself? What's it even for? Did you build it as your private mechanism workshop or something? It's just like the stories say. The Adepti leave the human world, find somewhere to go be a hermit, and then they research and invent all these amazing things. Oh my god, Paimon. How can you be so rude and so nice at the same time? Jesus Lord. One is simply not partial to the tedium of social interaction and wish to find some peace and quiet. Find it one did. Shortly after which, you arrived bearing your sigil of permission. I know- Oh my fucking god, you don't have any idea how much I just want to slap her for seeing a hermit. Oh my god. She just called an adept I a hermit, bro. Did I just say Jesus? I said Jesus. But enough. State the matter which brings you here at once. You have disturbed the tranquility of this place for long enough. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'll tell you. Jesus, okay. Rex Lapis. Assassinated. The same reaction you had as the previous adept die. Eeeeeee. How can this be? Such a heinous crime. Who would dare? The notion is so preposterous as to be unbelievable. One shall have to verify the truth of the matter independently. 
Bro, her reactions for her voice actor is a lot more there than the previous Adepti. Perhaps one shall quash Liyue at first, then convene with the other Adepti. Wait, what? Did you just say squash Liyue Harbor? Are you seriously gonna wipe out the whole city? Only a response of sufficient magnitude can negate the possibility of further incidents. It is as you say. We have protected Liyue Harbor under the leadership of Rex Lapis for 37 centuries. But in the face of this coup, by nefarious actors, exceptional measures must be taken. Yikes! Quick, you gotta think of something! She wants to squash Liyue flat! And it doesn't seem like she's bluffing! You accept our offering that makes this a contract. Exactly what Paima was gonna say! We made all that delicious food and gave every last bit of it to you! <laughs> Paimon! Paimon, shut the fuck up, please! We were hoping you might help Liyue out, not wipe Liyue out! Her you're a hermit? I'm not- Belzy! <laughs> Also, hi, Belsie. Welcome. Contract? A cruel irony that you should appeal to the notion after the merciless murder of the god of contracts himself. You want me to fight you? I will fight you, Belsie, on Friday. Friday for you, sun Saturday for me. Also, hi, Blair. Welcome. The people of Liyue seem quite content to dispense with their contracts. They are quite adept at taking that which is composed of black and white and turning it gray. Why is the beg bird a hermit? Oh my god. Nevertheless, oh, stop calling since you me come here in the hermit, name of contracts, bro. far be it from one to abandon one's own contractual obligations. Least of all when you come bearing a sigil of permission. Rex Lapis infused these sigils with adeptal power when he first cast them. That power once aided humans in battle. I'll have to add you later. Knees bad. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, take your time, Blair. Take your time, Blair. Also, potatoes. What's going on is that I am trying to uh, say that I'm innocent. What adventure level am I? Oh my god, 35. <laughs> um, but potatoes, what's happening is that I'm going to Adeptus uh, to tell them what has happened to the to their the god of contract, Rex Lapis. Um, and saying that I did not kill him because everyone is convinced that I killed him because I ran away. Most of the sigil's power has long since worn off. It is but a keepsake now. This keepsake cannot be taken as proof of your trustworthiness. One must investigate the claims that you make independently. What does the bird mean? What do you mean? Wait, no, I'm confused. <laughs> this, no doubt, is Mooncarver's very reason for summoning us. Your audience with the Adeptus before you is now concluded. Leave at once. At and disturb me no further. <laughs> I'll finish your sentences for you, retainer. Why does the bird speak English? Because she's an adeptus. She's like what, a level below the god. She's a protector of sorts. What is an adepti? Uh, she's yeah, she's a protector of sorts. I saw you murder these ad adapts and walk away. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Chongli's still alive, I think. Man, these fucking stairs. I would be tired. Belzy, I didn't do it. No one paid me to do anything. Hi, child. You finally returned. How was your journey to Jueyun Karst? I see. Huh. 
Moon Carver, Mountain Shaper, Cloud Retainer, Conqueror of Demons. I saw you can't lie. Uh, wait, I'm not a snake, Belzy. Stop lying, you, you, you succubus. Some of these names have never come up in the intel the Fatui gets hold of. As a returning gift, I too have information for you. Oh, really? Give, give me, give, give me. Regarding the Archon's passing, the Liu Qixing's response really has given me food for thought. They've announced that, as the true killer has not yet been found, they are not allowing anyone to pay their respects to the Exuvia. They've even gone so far as to try and cut off information. But with the right of dissension and all, even the Qixing isn't able to keep a lid on things. You know where the arena- Yeah, I know where the arena is. Let's go. Let's go, Belzy. Let's go. Exuvia? It's common knowledge in Liyue that Rex Lapis is also an Adeptus. What's my avatar supposed to- my character? Oh, I'm a traveler, so I'm not even from this world. The Geo Archon is also the god of contracts, and is also known as the Exuvia, prime of the Adepti. The mighty and illuminated Adepti of today all signed contracts to protect Liyue way back then. Guess that explains why they're all so focused on Liyue's well-being. Oh, I'm a human. Naturally, I'm they sure. both have the responsibility and the aptitude for the job. I think most characters are just human. Most characters, not all of them, though. If the ruling Qixing became unable to perform their duty properly, the Adepti have the right to take corrective action. So why do I have ears? I don't have ears. Well, my ears are hidden behind my hair. Oh, my care. Oh, you mean me. Oh, pfft. I thought you meant in the game. Oh, you meant me, me. I am a wolf. I am a demon wolf. I am an assassin. My job is an assassin. I am a demon wolf. Thank you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh my god, I legit got so confused. The Geo Archon spirit has risen. So why would the Chi Sing hide his vessel? Truly suspicious. I didn't kill them. I wasn't here. paid to. And I would never kill a dragon. Then our quest to find the seven is already over. I'm an assassin, but I wasn't paid to kill Rex Lapis. What the fuck? Oh? You're trying to find the seven? And just why might that be, pray tell? Oh, I don't have any papers. I didn't I don't have any contract that states I killed Rex Lapis. <laughs> Nice answer. A knight that gets duped by the Fatui would really be no knight at all now, would they? But I can help you with that too, you know. I don't know, child. You're part of the Fatui, and I'm not really in good terms with them, considering one of your own punched me unconscious. Hmm. Really? Give me some time. Time to find someone. Someone who can help you break through this stalemate. Huh. <laughs> Truly fascinating. I didn't kill anybody. The try to silence the situation, the greater the chaos that erupts. If you want to be around to see it all come crashing down, best you stay alive until we next meet. Yes? Awesome. Cool. Who does Belzy think you killed? I didn't kill anyone. Belzy don't even fucking dare say anything. Oh, just wait until the following. Oh, I can do that. I can do that. This is what I'll do. Uh, let's see. Do 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 do. Easy peasy. Belzy think I killed the god of this particular area. They think I killed the god of Liwei. I did not kill Rex Lapis, Belzy. Shut up. Alright, it's the next day. Where do I go? Oh, I'm right here. I didn't... Nope. Don't die. Oh, don't... Ugh, Miru, I'll be fine. How the fuck did you kill a god? I didn't do it! I didn't fucking do it! You were jealous of Rex? I'm not jealous of Rex. You forget that the other parts of myself are half-dragon. I would never touch a dragon. Welcome, friend of child. 
and congratulations on the first day of your illustrious career with the Fatui. You sound remarkably sure of yourself. Remember, we are mere mortals. Our ideas are fluid like water. Only the Tsaritsa truly has a will as solid as Belsie, the permafrost. Belsie, Belsie, no. Belsie, no. <laughs> Belsie, no. But back to the matter at hand. Child tells me that he has upheld his end of your agreement. What? Wait. Uh, what agreement? What I meant was, how does one kill a god? Um, how does one kill a god? I feel like you'd have to be a god yourself to be able to kill a god, because even demons can't kill a god. What agreement? Oh, the thing about him helping us find a guy? Correct. Child promised he would find someone to break the stalemate. And the Harbingers do not break their promises lightly. Hmm. Ah, where is that guy anyway? Child is currently at Leoli Pavilion. You just need to be gay enough to kill a god. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my knows god, Belzy. I'm sure you're gay enough to kill a god then, Belzy. Ahem. There are two styles of mm -hmm. cooking in Leoli. Known as Lee style and Yue style. They have been competing for centuries, but neither has emerged as the clear winner. Mm. The flagship restaurant of the Lee style is the Li Li Pavilion. The owner especially chose to open the restaurant at Feiyuan Slope so they could compete face to face with the Xinyue Kiosk, which is the flagship restaurant of the Yue style. Don't talk to Paimon like that. Anyway, Paimon's hungry. Let's get moving. I talk you however, how, whatever way I fucking want, Paimon. So are you being accused in the game or not? I'm sort of being accused, but also not being accused. I don't know if that makes sense. It's both, I guess. I'm gonna go die slapping cards and Magic the Gathering. Alright, have fun, Belzy. Make sure you win. <laughs> Um, I'm technically being accused because I was being chased by the peeps when I first uh, left here. Time to scout. Uh, but for the moment, uh, everything seems quiet. But it's because they they don't know for sure. Aha! So you made I'm it. Accused, but also not accused. I don't know if that makes sense. But that's why I went to see the adept die first, so that I can you know say that I didn't do it. My phone stopped being shite right after I asked my question. My stream cut off. Oh no! Wait, what was your question? I have to go up. Oh, what's my adventure level? Um, I have to check. I said 35, I think. As promised, I found someone who can help you. Someone who can solve the mystery of why the Liyue Chising would hide the Geo Archon's vessel. So, where is he? In Liyue Pavilion? He certainly is. Come, I'll introduce you. I took the liberty of setting up a business dinner, as per the Liu custom. Nice. Oh, cutscene, cutscene. Welcome back, sir. You honor us with your patronage. Mr. Zhongli is awaiting your arrival in the room you booked. What? Zhongli? Roughly the same with my F2, F2P characters. <sighs> oh, hi! Hi. <sighs> hmm? Hmm. Hello, Zhongli. Allow me to introduce Mr. Zhongli, consultant to an organization known as Wang Sheng. And a trusted associate of the Fatui. Hello. <laughs> Indeed, Wang Sheng's line of work can be sensitive at times. Let's just say they understand when discretion is needed. And we, the Fatui, have always been glad to do business with friends who walk in the shadows. Walk in the shadows? Oh my God, Paimon! Please just shut the fuck up. It is an honor to meet you. I have heard tell of you from Mondstadt. Zhongli, your mouth is not moving, but thank you for your lovely ventriloquism. Discretion? Shadows? 
So why are you being it's accused of murder? Some kind of business involving dealing with people? I honestly just want to grab Paimon and throw her out the window, but no. Yes, I'm being accused of murder, but so is everyone else who was within the vicinity of the murder of Rex Lapis. Or the supposed murder of Rex Lapis. Yeah. Indeed. It is as you have guessed. <sighs> My work associate. <laughs> I love Zhong Li. He's so nice and pretty. The Wongsheng Funeral Parlor organizes burials. We ensure that those who pass on do so in peace. Your hate for Paimon makes me cry. Oh my god. I, I have a love-hate relationship with Paimon, but 90% of the time I want to throw her out a window. Huh? <laughs> Did you think he was some sort of hired killer? The Fatui calls many such people friends, but the Wongsheng Funeral Parlor does not dabble in such business. Well... Ostensibly. I love the look at that. Look at that detail right there on his clothes. Scales, hell yeah, let's go. Well, they are still. Uh, I shouldn't say too much. In any case, I brought you to meet Mr. Zhang Li because. Because I can bring you to see Rex Lapis's vessel. No, you can't. You are the vessel. <laughs> I used to work for a funeral home until I quit. What? Oh. <laughs> Don't be so surprised. Sure, the Geo Archon's body has been squirreled away by order of the Tian Chuan Ning Guang. Uh, but first, let's hear what Mr. Zhang Li has to say, shall we? Okay, so what species is your actual avatar? Okay, potatoes, I do need you to be very specific now. Do you mean me? Or do you mean this character here? Me, I am a demon wolf. A wolf demon, whichever way you want to call it. This is not my true form. This is merely a form that I take for you humans to be able to perceive me when I speak. <laughs> Even in my true form, I can speak. But since you were very confused when a crane was speaking, I think you would think it's very weird for a wolf to be speaking. So this is a form I take to make it easier for your brains. Rex Lapis may be the prime of Adepti, but he is ultimately an Adeptus. Many Adepti have left us over the millennia. This is the inexorable trend. The times have changed. You must have felt it too when you were at Jueun Karst. Oh, thought you were... uh... A what? Can I floof the... no, don't touch my ears. Don't touch my ears. I will stab you with my knife if you touch my ears. As you have seen, the time of the Adepti is ending, and the time of mankind is slowly dawning. Zhong Li, you forgot to move your mouth! In years past, Liu's tradition was that a huge memorial service be held to mark the passing of every Adeptus. But this time, the Qixing have made no attempt whatsoever to respect this tradition. It, it is, is sacrilege. sacrilege. Well, they do have a... What the fuck? A what to deal with? A decide... What the fuck? Fluffing ears means getting... Stabbed might be worth it. Okay, is your mask used to hide your wolf or your demon features? No, it is not. It is not. It's used to hide my face when I assassinate people, primarily. Um, I can take it off and show you, just real quick. Let's just do this. I can't use my hotkeys with it on. Hang on. What is my buttons? Can't. Hang on. I can't see my... Alright. So I can take it off, but I can put it back on. Stay on my jacket. I think it may be me getting killed next. Yeah, you would be getting killed next. If, if you touch my ears, you'll be getting killed, killed next. My demon features, when in this form, only includes my ears and my tail. Uh, and maybe my abnormally sharp canines. But other than that, I look pretty much human to, to you humans. <laughs> I don't know how this to explain that. 
Um, well, do they decide this? Yeah, the killer hasn't even been caught yet. Decide or not, the concern of the Wangsheng funeral parlor is this. When the ritual to receive this god is so kingly, it is all the more egregious for his final send off to go unattended to. Oh, he said it and now I already forgot it because he said oh, he had so many fucking words, bro. Traveler, Child has told me a lot about you. Since you have had dealings with the Animo Archon, could I ask you to help me prepare the Geo Archon's last rites? Um, even though you're sitting right in front of me, of course, I accept your invitation. A wise decision. The Tianquan Ningguang has forbidden anyone from accessing Rex Lapis's vessel, which of course you would need to access if you were to achieve your goal of meeting all of the seven. Precisely. Only by participating in the rite of parting will you be able to see the form of Rex Lapis again. Looks like there's no other choice. If we are agreed, come with me. We will speak of the details as we walk. You're not gonna tell me that you're actually Rex Lapis? I thought you said that you were gonna, you're gonna take right. me to meet them. My bridge building work here is done. Turned out well, didn't it? Child, why are you also doing the ventriloquism? Hmm, yes, Child has told me many things about you. Oh, you Jesus. can go if you want to. Don't worry about me. I might just have a few more drinks and get acquainted with these things they call chopsticks in the meantime. <laughs> oh no! No! Oh my god. I'm not gonna stay here to see this. I've seen many a people try to use chopsticks. I'm not gonna sit here to see this. Why is someone named Child? Someone's named Child? Oh! That's because his name, his, that's his like nickname, because his real name, yeah, it's, oh sorry, fucking, ah, uh, my, my fucking head, hang on, give me a second, I'm trying to, child's name is Tartaglia, that's his, I think he said that child is like a nickname, right, a shorter, not a shorter version, but like a version that people can more easily say or something. Tartaglia, yeah. Morax! Morax! Oh, wait. Then what's Zhong Li? Wait, I'm so confused. I'm getting, like, mixed information, I think. Maybe I should just shut up, right? After having experienced the land of the absentee Archon, Traveler, how does it feel to know that our Archon and Adepti are here all around you in Liyue? Oh my god, don't ask me this question. I don't like that because I will I have a bias. I'm going to go for my bias. Indeed. The weight of 3700 years worth of history runs deepest in the true divinity of Liu. Organizing the rite of parting should prove to be an enlightening part of your travels. Wait, I'm getting mixed information then, Blair. What's the- why- why is most fan art saying that Zhong Li is Slip Rex Lapis? I'm confused. Liu is the most prosperous of the Seven Nations, defended by deities and ruled by the Qixing. As such, the diplomatic maneuverings of the Fatui have gained no purchase here. Do you have any other features other than the wolf ears? Yes, I do. I can show you. Give me... Yeah, right here. I have a tail. Ningguang of the Qixing has always been on her guard against the Fatui. That is, in all likelihood, why Child wants to make use of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's connections. I've tried using my magic to transform myself as much as I possibly can into a human, but um, unfortunately my ears and tail died. I have a hard time putting them away. Uh, I suggest not to not going on fan fan art sites for spoilers. I haven't been looking on fan art sites for spoilers. I've just been scrolling down Twitter and seeing them. Huh? What would child get out of us doing the rite of parting anyway? I neither know nor do I wish to know. 
As far as I am concerned, the Fatui are merely financial sponsors. I only wish for Liyue's traditions to endure. Oh, please don't say that with an angry face. These are the advanced funds that Child has provided. If you use them up, you can go to him to apply for any subsequent funding. Wow. Well then, let us be off. Okay. The first what does step your in true our form preparations look like? shall be to obtain some prize Noctilucus Jade worthy of a deity. Let's go find that real quick. Um I do have a sort of um not a draft, but I haven't had any concept art, but I have a riff. Give me just a moment. I am but a wolf. There you go. I'm a very slim looking wolf, but a wolf nonetheless. And I am, um... I am as tall as I could, uh, I am as tall as this human form, which is like, from paws to shoulder, five foot two? Yeah. Oh my god, they gave me money. That's a mistake. I already have so much money. Look at this. And they gave me more money. Bro. You thought my true form will be cooler? Ah, uh, I'm sorry about that. I do just look like a wolf. The key here is consumer psychology. I'm not as fancy as as the nine-tailed foxes or much. I am but a wolf, a demon wolf nonetheless. I can still use my magic in my true form though. Oh my god, why are you calling me short? I'm pretty big for wolf. I don't think I've ever seen a, a normal, like, mortal wolf as big as myself. Welcome to the Jade Mystery, my good friends. Would you like to try your luck betting on Jade? This could be your lucky day. It's cheap and it's fun, and who knows, you just might strike it rich. Also, what were you expecting from my true form, other than me just being in a wolf form. Uh, whoa. Yeah, I'm not as fancy as much as the dragons or the nine-tailed foxes that I know of. Um, or even the angel VTubers that I know of. I've never really thought of myself as the cool type. I'm much more subtle than they are. Betting? No, no, we're here for... Um, what was it again? Oh, maybe a goat horned werewolf? Uh, I see. I'm sorry. I don't really go with those misconceptions, you see. I am... I am just a demon wolf, but I'm not quite a demon from hell, so to speak. Noctilucus Jade. Of radiant grade, at the very least. Radiant grade, Noctilucus Jade? I see. You're not a tourist. My apologies. I have some here for your perusal. I used to have a German Shepherd who could purr his. What do you think? The Jade Mystery is an old name Wait. in the Jade business. Just look at that wonderful quality. Rex Lapis doesn't often bless us with such finery. Go on, pick whichever one you like. Stop. I used to have a German Shepherd that could put his paws on my shoulder and look at me square in the eyes. You're talking about when he's standing upright, like on the his back paws standing upright. You yeah, right? Blair, when I say from paws to shoulder, I'm talking about from here to here. Not from here to here. Not from here to here if I'm standing up. I'm staying like from here to here. I'm not small. I am not small. pieces really do look pretty not like the ones you usually dig up but how do we pick should we just grab one and go 
A man who makes his living off betting a stone cannot be trusted so lightly. <laughs> Very good. It seems you have learned some tricks of the trade. What do you think, Mr. Zhongli? How should we pick from these pieces of Noctilucus Jade? Oh? You want me to decide? That is fine as well. If it were me, the answer would be simple. Oh? And that would be... I'll take them all, boss. Oh, you act with such panache, good sir. I always knew you were not a man of ordinary caliber. Oh, wait, wait, boss! That one didn't count! We need to discuss it again! What? Hey! If we only need one for the ritual, aren't we wasting three times the more if we buy them all? Oh, Mora. Hmm. Oh my god, I forgot he is so oblivious to money. It is as you say. I suppose I overlooked this particular aspect of the transaction. Huh? How do you not think about Mora when buying things? I don't think Jong Jong Lee goes around buying stuff. If one must always consider Mora before acting, then in all things one is bound by Mora. What? All Mora is currency, but not all currency is Mora. What? Oh. Is this how the rich live? <laughs> well, he knows a lot about big money, but not a lot about big savings. No need to waver. Even when I am constrained by Mora, I have ways of working around my limitations. Evaluating the quality of Noctilucus Jade is indeed very tricky. As crude ore, there is little difference in texture, lustrousness, and internal pattern between good and bad jade. I.e. the barter bartering system is alive and well? Ugh. Only after the item made using Noctilucus Jade has taken shape will you be able to see whether it is up to par or not. If you return to those crafty merchants to quibble, they will counter by saying that your crafting bench is to blame, or that your heat control was poor. Whoa! To think it's that easy to get cheated! But there is a way to truly evaluate this jade, and a true insider would know it. A fool sees the pointer and misses the moon. What does that mean? A fool sees the pointer and misses the moon. If not all currency is Mora? Ah, right, okay. If you point at the moon with your finger, a wise man knows that you are pointing at the moon, while a fool will only see the finger. Uh -huh. The patterns, the facade, these are all the finger. Noctilucus Jade is a mystical stone used to light up the darkness, and so its brightness is the important thing. It is the moon. Noctilucus Jade of excellent quality would have superior pyro affinity. In other words, the bluer and brighter the luster of the ore under high temperature, the higher its quality. I have imparted the priceless secrets of the Jade trade to you. Now, all that's left is to put it into practice. Priceless, huh? Hyman's just said that we might never be able to use it again. Mm. We're back to buy some rocks, boss. But can you let us burn them first? Uh, burn them? You can't do that, my friends. If you were to do so, what would I have to sell? Then can we get some samples? Uh, some small samples? Uh, well, uh, fine. As you wish, then. Uh, how about this? I can take a small sample of all three. I'll take a bit of a loss. Uh, we'll count it as a friendly gesture. <laughs> Don't worry. I know the rules. As long as we can prove that it is good jade, you will not take a loss. All right. Take these as samples. I've carved them off with a knife and tagged them to boot. These samples... Aren't they too thin? Even paper's thicker! No, even a bug's wings are thicker! These are almost see-through! It's impressive handiwork. <laughs> oh, you flatter me, but I have to be gentle with these rocks. They are my pride and joy. 
If I'd taken off even a bit more, it, it would have killed me. But wouldn't something this thin go poof if we held it to the fire? It can't be helped. Trying to deprive a merchant of his profits would be like forcing a ravenous wolf to vomit up the food in its stomach. Nonetheless, under the right conditions, these thin slices will serve. What sort of conditions? While we add the high temperatures using pyro, we can use hydro to reinforce it from within. This way, the samples will not disintegrate immediately. Oh! Oh, sir, to think you were this learned. Thank you for your understanding. Strictly speaking, asking for samples when we have not yet agreed to purchase the goods is unfair. Trade in Liyue must be based upon fairness. Well, guess we just need to find a place to try this out. How about the kitchen at Xiangling's place? Or I remember a spot at the Dupo Pub the the Da the fuck. Da Dao Pa Gorge. Maybe? Oh, Paima remembers we once saw this big pot down at the Dada Upa Gorge in the camp of the hilly churls from the Meaty tribe. It's real sturdy and should be able to take the elemental reactions. Now, let's pack those samples up and make a move. Let's go. Uh, let's see. All right, close, 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 close. There it is. Oh my god, it's so far away. All right, all right, all right. Man, I don't think I've ever seen Noctilucus. Noctiluc. Nocta. Fuck! Noctilucious Jade. That sm That color. Cause. Cause, 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 cause. Cause this is what they look like, right? This. No, that's Core Lapis. Oh, wait, I don't have a Jade. No, this. There's Jade. No, I'm not okay. I'm legit just like phasing out right now. Shut up. I'm not. I'm fucking. I'm losing it. I've only just. I just woke up. You know what? I'm gonna blame this on the fact that it I just. It has been woke a up. long time since I last set foot in the Nation of Wind. A friend of mine from Mondstadt would always bring a few bottles of locally brewed dandelion wine whenever he came to visit me in Liyue. It must be said that the famed liquor of the land of pastorals is far better than Sumeru's frigid snake wine. I can only imagine snake wine being like very dry. I don't know if you know what I mean when I say very dry wine. Pot! The hilly trolls are still using it. Hey, hi, hello. Polite, but we gotta cut the line. Blood of frost. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want that? Shut up. I love that. I love that she just completely ignores the fact that these dudes are here. Oh, I need more for any more. Oh, yeah, there's more, more. speed. No, my sword. Beg for mercy. <laughs> bye bye. Cools, 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 cools. As someone who's drank Chardonnay, yes, I know what you mean by dry. Good. I don't have to explain. There's still soup in here. These hilly trolls sure have big appetites. This soup looks like it could be used as our hydro elemental protection. Let's fire it up and begin our experiment. We're ready to go. Paimon will help remember which one of the three is which. Use Pyro to keep making the pot hotter until we get the results we need. Mr. Zhongli said that the shinier and bluer the orchids, the better it is. So, pay close attention. Thanks for reminding me. Bluer and shinier, right? Okay. Hello? I'm trying to heat it up, please. Whoa! That light came from the first Noctilucus Jade! You! 
Ooh, fox. But you can get something like snake wine in, in real life, right? They just put snakes in alcohol. Although that's a preservant. Um, I can't remember how they make it, but I'm pretty sure snake wine is like an actual thing. Beg for mercy. I don't know about dandelion wine. Nice, alright. Oh yeah, I see that, I see that. Let's light it up. Do you want me to like jump in the pot? The fuck? That light came from the second note to Lucas J, didn't it? More hilly trolls? They don't give up, do they? Oh my fucking god. Looks like you they're mad what? that we ruined their food. What? Everybody stand back! Oh. Beg for mercy! Rain outlines your fate! Crush! Beg for mercy! Shudder! Uh, slightly concerned about that, potatoes. But... Lucas Jade, wasn't it? Yeah. It was so much shinier than the rest. Let's go with that one. The third Let's one. Let's head back to the Jade Mystery to buy some Jade, shall we? Third one, third one, third one. All right, on our way. We're on our way. We're on our way. Where, 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 where? Potatoes, you better believe I'm ever so slightly concerned, but, um... You're back, my friends! I've kept the goods for you. Which of them would you like? Uh, what was it? What was it? The third one? Exactly! That's the one Paimon remembers, too! No problem. If you have your eye on this one, you can have it. Then we'll take a box of the third type of jade. Done! All the same, and uh, pardon me for asking, but I'm curious. Whatever do you need this much top-quality Noctilucas Jade for? Hmm... I suppose it would not hurt to tell you. We need them to make implements for the right of party. <laughs> what oral you consider cannibalism? Well, Blair, that depends. Would you like it bitten off? <laughs> Parting? Oh, dear. I I'd heard the rumors, but had given much thought to them. This... this means that Rex Lapis really is... Oh, it's hard to believe. Even though the Jade Mystery has been in decline, we have always been under his protection. It is said that when our Lord lost his way while going incognito in the city 200 years ago, it was a spoon from the Jade Mystery that he had used to sample the local delights. Alas, alas, all things must pass. Well, if this is to be used to say farewell to Rex Lapis, then I shall sell this to you at half the price. Oh, 50% off, let's go! Are you sure? You didn't want to even give us an inch before. If not for our Lord's protection, this city wouldn't exist as it does now. No proprietor could earn money off such a thing. Oh, I'm sure Rex Lapis will feel your sentiment, boss. In the safe hands of the Liu Achising and good, honest merchants such as yourself, I, for one, believe that Liu Er will continue to prosper as it always has done. So let's not, so let's not get ourselves down just yet. All right, thank you, my friends. What's with me getting all sentimental like this? I'll practically be giving away all my fortune at this rate. Ah, oh, give me a second. I need to drink water. I did so much talking today. 
Do not be concerned, I had no choice. It's not like I committed manslaughter. Me and a couple other people were, all, were the only survivors. What exactly happened? Now that we've made our choice, let's take this Noctilucus Jade back. Hey, wait a minute. He said it was half price, not that we could leave without paying. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I must have forgotten to do that, too. Let me see. As I thought, I didn't bring any. Oh my fucking god! Oh, Zhongli, Zhongli, you are the pure definition of a man who forgets his wallet. Honey, what? Mora, my apologies. Another oversight on my part. What a strange take on the value of money. A local of Liwei who doesn't have money on their ES, I wanna. Mm. Oh, that won't do. This isn't some small sum. Oh, wait! Didn't Child give us some advanced funds earlier? I have them on me. <sighs> That's a relief! Have a look, but It's fine. It's just enough for half price. <laughs> Though, to be honest, it'd be alright even if the sum wasn't quite enough. Well, it's settled then. Let's take this jade to Eugene Terrace. That's where we plan to hold the right. Look at you bossing everyone around. You didn't cough up a single Mora. Please remember to bring money next time. <laughs> I will do my best. You have my thanks. Yeah, don't look so innocent. The fuck? How dare you play on my weakness like that? Don't you dare look, look at me with that innocent face. <sighs> Pretty sure I'm a mix of Bennett and Jung Lee. Oh my god. Wait, what's the Bennett part? Oh wait, don't fucking tell me. I know. Uh, where do I go? I go over here. I go over here. Oh, hello. It's a random flow bird. Bird on the floor. I found a bird on the floor. Whose is it? Terrible luck. Ah, uh, I see. I see. Oh my god. I say I've done so much talking today, but sometimes I'm just quiet because dialogue. Wait, where am I going? <laughs> am I going the wrong way? Oh no, I have to go around. Ooh. I have to go around, right? Yeah, I have to go around. I have a bias. I couldn't pick Monstat, even, even, even if Monstat was pretty. I have a bias for this place. For obvious reasons. My other self, Phantom, is Chi uh, is Asian after all. I have like the biggest bias for this place. I can't wait to see Inazuma. Oh yes, that's happening soon, isn't it? Oh, I can't wait either. I just saw the trailer for it. It's very exciting. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. This is where Rex Lapis died. Oh, the pain. Oh, the pain. It was a plane crash and there wasn't civilians for miles. Oh, civilized. Oh, damn. Damn. Since I have a bias against China due to the C Aristocratic CCP. etiquette is all just for show. Just smile and nod along. I was fourth. There we go. We can leave the jade here. I have already called for a jewel smith to shape them into the implements that we will need. Ah, yes. I have yet to go and see child. So, as for the jewel smith's remuneration. We'll pay the jewel, jewelry, jewel smith when he arrives. Guess we can't do anything else. Also, is this where we're doing the rite of parting? Yes. I have already rented this location and have begun making preparations for the rite. I do enjoy the architecture and stuff in Liwei, though. Yes, it's very, very nice. 
The riot of dissension took place here too. That's right. The Liu and Qixing have acquiesced to using the same location. But when something this big happened here, should suspects like us really be at the crime scene? We might get caught by the Millilith. Although with that said, since we got back from Dwayun Karst, none of those pesky Millilith soldiers have come chasing after us. I wonder what that's about. Also, the... uh... Rex Lapis Vessel. Traditionally, we call it the Exuvia. Ah, oh, right! That's what it was called. You seem to know everything, Mr. Zhongli. Um, so, was this Exuvia hidden away by the Chasing? I mean, we haven't even figured out who the murderer is. One must think that they already have someone in mind. Or perhaps they already know. Surely they must have found all the evidence that there is to find here. It still feels very odd. These things are for the authorities in Yujing Terrace to consider. Trying to help would probably only add to their troubles. Before the rite is conducted, the Exuvia will be kept temporarily in the Golden House. Golden House? The only mint in Liu, which is to say the only mint in Tevat. All the mora that flows throughout the world is minted there. The look on Paimon's face just tells me she wants to go there just so that she can swim in the Mora. Oh, no! Paimon wasn't thinking about anything bad. Paimon thinks it suits Morax. But why do you know this, Mr. Zhongli? Since the rite of parting has the approval of the Qixing, it is a semi-official event. As such, there is already some limited information available. The Qixing provides the location, and child the funds? Perhaps each has their motives. But this is the capital of commerce. A little exploitation once in a while is not unacceptable. In Liu, where the god of contracts reigns, only contracts may not be betrayed. I for one have no issue with little maneuvers outside their remit. Well then, we should go and prepare the perfumes used in the rite. Shh, Blair, shh. Perfumes? Where will we get those? Do we buy them? No. Perfumes used to honor the gods must be freshly decocted. The quality of the silk flowers we require is also special. Silk flower petals contain a fibrous material of good quality, often used in brocade making. Its scent, however, is most elegant and is especially suited for solemn events like giving offerings to gods and adepti. It's time for Zhang Li's lectures on high society again. Paimon, shut the fuck up. I actually quite enjoy listening to them. Oh my fuck. I want to throw her away. I want to grab her and then just throw her. <laughs> we shall not speak of the details right now. No! Follow me. We shall go to the merchants to purchase our ingredients. Oh, I thought I was waiting here for the Jade Smith. <laughs> Okay, I guess we're going. Wait. Nope. Still not enough. I don't know why I have to go buy silk flowers. I don't know why I have to go buy silk flowers. I don't know why I have to go buy silk flowers. But whatever. Smith. The Smith. The, 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 the Jade Smith. Slower. Back down. Where are you? Uh, right here? Oh, right here, right here. This one? I wasn't talking to you. Fuck off. You can't be the atmosphere equals here, stand. The fuck? Oh my god, confusion. So you're not the one I need to talk to. Is it this dude? No. 
Wait, who is it I need to speak to? Is it actually this dude? Wait, why is that message blocked? What? What message? I don't see anything. Yang? Oh, it's below. Just below. Just below. It's downstairs. It's right here. It's right here. Hi. Hey, boss. Do you sell silk flowers here? Silk flowers? We certainly do. Which kind would you like? Which kind? The, uh, the good kind? The best kind? Remind Paima what kinds there are again. Oh my god, hang on. Give me two seconds while I figure it out, right? I don't know if Yang is still here. Yang, you still here? I don't know if she's still here. Smooth that. Give me like two seconds. I'll figure it out for you. After I regained consciousness, I was beneath one of the collapsed wings of the... Oh, I see. I don't know what you mean. There is nothing that's been caught by auto mod. Do you want to post it again? Maybe I can see it. There shouldn't have been anything, because my... There's legit nothing on my thing. Simp... Oh! That did come through, what do you mean? The Simpsons stands, right? I can see that. Blair, are you okay? Are you okay, my dude? I can I can see that message. I don't know. I'm not getting any other message. Automod didn't catch it. I don't know what other message you mean. Do you want to DM it to me? My moderation settings aren't that high. I legit almost have absolutely no moderation settings. I count on Yang and Ozzy to, to moderate my chat. Plus myself if I'm staring at it profusely. You know what I forgot to open? I forgot to open something else. Oh, waiting for Blair to DM me real quick. Might as well get this open. Cool. Alright. Um, I'll keep an eye out for that DM, yeah, Blair. Uh, I'll just keep going. Ugh, you ignorant shoppers. Always coming in here with your stupid questions. Golden Housemaiden, Valley Weaver, and Fate's Yearning. One of each to start with, if you don't mind. My goodness, this gentleman is quite the connoisseur. You two must be his servants. Uh, please refrain from any further attempts to contribute. This is what I get for calling Paimon emergency food. <laughs> And I was helped by one of the survivors. Oh, I see, I see. Oh! Ah! That's, that's Twitch's auto mod, you see. That's Twitch's mod, in, in not mine. Because you're not allowed to insult someone by calling them a simp. You can't refer to someone as a simp. You have to use the other word. You have to use shrimp. Remember? 
So you can type it again and put shrimp instead. I'm pretty sure it will work. It's not my moderation settings, it's uh, it's Twitch's moderation so settings Cause you know, one of their banned words is simp I'm not, I'm not supposed to call someone a simp and they cannot call me a simp and that includes chat Cause they count that as an insult or something I'm sorry? Ah, yes We've met before, haven't we? Sorry, traveler I shouldn't have spoken to you in that tone Now then Please peruse at your leisure. Do let me know if you have any further thoughts. Silk flowers exhibit different properties based on how their environmental conditions differ from their ancestral habitat. Nevertheless, these are fine specimens, excellently preserved. Just look at the abundant foliage here, and these stamens, glamorous as a maiden of the Golden House. This strain is an evergreen, and mostly grows under complex hydrological conditions. You know, honestly, if I didn't already know that the voice actor for Jong Lee is also the voice actor for Hawk Moth, I would have completely thought that he was a different voice actor. Because even though he has the same like raspy tone as Hawk Moth when he was voice acting that person, um, it's ever so slightly different enough for me to not recognize that it was him. But now that I know that they have the same voice actor, I just immediately it clicks. And it's painful, but I still love them. By contrast, this variety thrives in any dark, damp location, often in large clusters. Morphologically, it is distinguished by the profusion of petals and densely packed stamens, though its powerful scent gives it away just as easily. Lastly, this strain is quite the recluse. Unlike its exuberant cousins, flowers and foliage are minimal, and when in season, it has a subtle yet enduring scent. It was first discovered by the ancients I thought it was when because they scaled of the, the word mountains shrimp. in search of the Adepti. Well, it was because of that word, but it was also because you were referring to me as a, 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 a shrimp. Rather than just saying the word shrimp. Because if I think if you type if you just simply type the word simp, nothing would happen. Silk flowers have all but disappeared from the wild today due to geographical changes over Liu's history. Most are not grown by horticulturalists. Wow, a true connoisseur. Most of that was and news so then even I to me. Him further by using leaves as a bandage for the scratch marks on his ankle and arms. Yikes. Potato, it sounds like you've had quite an ordeal. I possess but a smattering of trivial knowledge. My traveler friend is the one to watch. They are on track to set foot in every corner of the world. Yeah, apparently. Well, it's not even auto mods. It's um because if it was auto mod, Yang would have seen it and allowed it uh or something. But it's Twitch's mod. Not mine. Mm. This, yeah, that is kind of too bad, but um, that you can only do so much. What's so impressive about that? Oh, Mr. Zhang Li, you're way too humble. So, which silk flower did you want anyway? I'll take them all, boss. Again? How can I put this? When purchasing opera tickets, it is natural to decide based on which singer has the most melodious voice. The same logic applies when purchasing a pet bird. But this silk flower purchase is not an analogous case. The same logic does not apply. Perhaps you don't know. Tradition states that we should decoct perfume from different subspecies of silk flower when making an offering to a statue of the Seven. Rex Lapis will then make his own choice between the scents. Like several other tedious and complicated traditions, this one has become simplified over time. But this is the only rite of parting to take place for one of the Seven in 3,700 years. As such, 
I do think we should honor tradition down to the last detail in this case. Now that's settled. A question. <clears throat> do you have any mora on you? Zhongli! Did you not bring the- Oh my god, this is so painful. Yeah, I, I love you, but I- What the fuck? You are just so fucking lucky that I have 6,000 over more. 600,000 over more. He said he was attacked by a bear. With just scratches. You can't run- Just so you know, you can't outrun a bear. So the fact that he actually got away with just scratches is very interesting. You forgot to bring money again? Uh, Zhong Li. A 10 spot? Borrow a 10 spot. What do you mean? A pattern emerging here. By this point, I'd be more surprised if he'd remembered. Uh, if I may interject, did I hear you say that these flowers are to be an offering to the Lord of Geo himself? 10 spot, $10. Could you borrow $10? I don't even think I have $10 right now. No, it's probably just because he had a revolver. Ah, uh, oh, you're mocking John Lee. <laughs> yes, in a sense. Gosh, well, why didn't you say so? I heard the awful news about what happened at this year's Rite of Dissension. It would be bad luck to say it out loud. But I've been worried about our dear Lord ever since. I'm worried that everything I've heard is true. Since these flowers will be used to glorify our Lord, they're free of charge. Just don't forget to pass on my regards. Are you serious? Why wouldn't I be? I would be nobody if not for Rex Lapis. If he hadn't written those poems in praise of my wares, they'd only be worth a fraction of what I can sell them for today. And a fire axe that he got from one of the deceased survivors? Oh my gosh. Damn. That sounds like a hell of an ordeal that you went through, Potatoes. The fact that you're here today, I'm, I'm quite glad that you're alright. Huh. So much folklore here revolves around Liyue's deity making cameo appearances in support of local businesses. You know, what, what the hell has Venti done? <laughs> Thank you, boss. I think I speak for all of us when I say that your generosity has saved our skins. Oh my god, Zhongli, it's only saved your skin because I have a load of money and you do not because you forget your fucking wallet. Skins? You were the one who forgot to bring money! How did he have a revolver on a plane? Yeah, that's actually a good question. I'm pretty sure weaponry is not allowed on planes. Please, it's the least I could do. Hang on, I'm gonna check how much money I have so, in here. now that we've got the flowers, how do we make the perfume? Ideally, with the help of an expert. Unfortunately, none of my acquaintances have personal experience in the art of decoction. Talk about first world problems. Hence, I need you to help by asking around in the city. Try the common folk, especially women. <laughs> oh, Zhongli, you did not just fucking say that, bro. You being sexist. So this time we get to go around town looking for nice smelling ladies to talk to? Paimon likes this job. Paimon, what? I will wait for you near the Statue of the Seven. Meet me there when the perfume is ready. Maybe we can find some good candidates at the Adventurer's Guild. Wait, look, hang on. How much Mora do I have? I've got six million Mora. Six million, boys! No, what men wear is not called perfume. It's called cologne, but it's still the same thing. All you know is he had it. Yeah, there you go. My adventure rank is 35. But also, Blair, you have to be in the same server as me to be able to play with me. You remember that, right? You know that, right? I should have a store here. Oh, this is a clear fire. 
<laughs> yeah, it's so sad. It's so sad. They don't do crossplay. The only person I can play with is Lovey, and he doesn't even play this game that often. Um. Well, I was studying here. I just live here now, I guess. Yeah, this is just straight up my home. I'm giving Lovey tips the other day. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Oh, it's right here, right here. Hi, Lan. Lan, we need to ask you for a favor. Lan, sorry, not Lan. Lan. <laughs> I stopped accepting commissions a long time ago. Sorry, you two, but you'll just have to ask another adventurer. Oh, it's not that kind of favor. It's just a teeny tiny thing. <laughs> do you know how to make perfume? Wow. Just, do I look like the kind of girl who wears perfume to you? I think you're underestimating the kind of person I am. Well, Paimon thinks you smell amazing. So come on, Lon. What's your secret if not perfume? Now that you mention it, yes, there is something. What is that scent? Oh, it must be from the Qingxing flowers I picked on the way back. I forgot I still had them with me. Aha! The truth is out. Lan's got a soft spot for wildflowers. Uh, no. They were for medicinal use only. Anyway, this is a pointless conversation. If you want to know about perfume, try talking to Chi Mei. The fortune teller, right? Paimon remembers she smells pretty good. Paimon, you're sounding very sus right Thanks, now. That's so weird. Yeah. Don't ever say that, yo. Paimon remembers she smelled pretty good too. What have you been doing? Sniffing people when we meet them? Hello. How may I help? And so I started to use parts of the plane and things that would that the deceased people this decreed deceased people to use weapons and tools. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So it was just for survival. I see, right. Hmm. I'm sorry you had to go through such a such a huge ordeal, but I'm glad you survived. We've come to ask you a question. Do you know how to make perfume? Perfume? I rarely think to use it, let alone about how to make it myself. That said, some of the cosmetics I use are scented. Perhaps that's the cause of this confusion. Since I usually set up my stall by the docks, I avoid perfume like the plague. Because Celestia forbid those lusty sailors catch a whiff and come hunting for the source. That's the worst thing Paimon's heard all day! While we're on the subject, have you never heard anyone mention Ying Ar's homemade perfume? Ying Air? Oh, as in scent of spring Ying Air? It's Ying Ar, you stupid dumbass. Yes, that's her. Many a rich family's daughter has gotten her to make perfume for them. Apparently, her homemade product is better than anything you'll find on the market. Great! This is just the intel we need! Finally, we're getting somewhere! Alright, where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Okay, it's still in the town. It's still in the harbor. It's still in the harbor. Liyue people must have iron stomachs. Hello. Well, hello. You found me at last. I've been waiting for you. What? How did you know we were coming? Oh, I heard a rumor about a couple who were snooping around town looking for a sweet-smelling lady. Actually, I was starting to worry you wouldn't find me. This is the ultimate test of my appeal, after all. Snooping around? Why are you making it out like we're bad people? What can I say? People love to talk. Maybe you ought to be more discreet in the future if you don't want word to get around. Relax. I know why you're here. 
You want to get your hand on my homemade perfume, don't you? What kind would you like? A bespoken triple silk flower variety. Three in one go. My goodness. You have extreme tastes for someone your age. Maybe the rumors I heard were true after all. You're on the prowl and need some sweet-smelling ammunition? Is that it? It's for Rex Lapis. Is that the best you could come up with? Even if you were genuinely offering perfume to a deity, that doesn't explain why you'd need three kinds. Sorry, your story just doesn't hold water. Xiong Li was right. People don't remember this tradition anymore. As one of my favorite poems goes, O oh, cherry tree, begrudge not thy blossoms as they are deflowered Too in the blunt? spring. Uh, I should have picked the other winter, one tonight. Even thy sturdiest wood shall wither. That went over Paimon's head a little. <laughs> in short, I'm happy to help. Traveler, you can be my assistant. But you'd better make sure I'm the only person on your mind while you're hanging around with me. <sighs> Do they not have a different dialogue for the female character? Bro, <laughs> is she gay? So, is she bisexual? Where is a good place for making sweet, sweet perfume? How about the kitchen in Xiangling's place? You mean Wan Min restaurant? Good choice. Let's go. It would be kind of horrible if I took her to the gorge. Oh, it's still in the town. Alright. Sorry, dude. Same as Lisa, she's bi. Ah, I see, I see, I see. I've had a word with Chef Mao. We can start work now. Are you ready to please me? Oh my god, don't say it like that! Jesus what did lord. You say? Paimon, go and away. make me proud as my assistant, obviously. While I'm setting up, you can go and fetch some water. Where does what? Hang on. Oh, excuse me. How do I? Where do I? Try something new at the Wan Min restaurant. Oh, I think I may have overeaten. Higher. Should I save this money? Oh, there it is. And I also had to consume the flesh of the recently deceased people wow. as well. Good thing most of them Mayo's had foods really in their pocket. Got a lot going oh, I see. Must have iron I hope you guys tried to go through the plains, um, uh, food reserves before you decided to go uh, the cannibal route. Root. Root. This water will do nicely. Now, I need you to extract the silk flower essence using a crafting bench. Perfume making uses an altogether different technique from alchemy. Here, let me teach you. Very carefully, take hold of the mortar and pestle. Gently does it. You need to keep your wrist firm so your hand doesn't slip. Now, use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent rhythm. Keep going until the juices start to come out. Why? Okay, okay, I get it. Ooh, you're a natural, like a fish to water. Now, take these and try it out on your own using a nearby crafting bench. Don't forget to do all three. They look visually identical during the essence extraction process, but I will put them into separate containers when the perfume is ready. Oh, can I just, um... Do you think I could just do this? <laughs> nah, I'll go to the crafting bench. <laughs> Hello? Earth and water. Wind and fire, craft for me what I desire. Oh. Yeah, we checked for food on the plane. We checked the people's pockets before we resorted to cannibalism. That 
That's good to hear. At least you had some food before you ended up having to uh, go all Hannibal Lecter on their ass. Yeah, what's this? Interesting. What's it do? A stone that can be used in Mondstadt to search for a nearby a How long ago is it? A year ago? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Wow, this is some exquisite silk flower essence. On to the next stage, the most important one of all. The essence is placed into water and simmered over a low heat until most of the water has boiled off. You must take care to control the heat during this process. If the temperature goes too high, it will affect the scent. So please, focus on controlling the heat. This is the final step. Don't waste a drop of that essence now. We want all of it in there. Okay. With a little guidance, you helped Ying All her. three perfumes are ready. And you, my friend, were a wonderful assistant. Wonderful to know. A testament to the lengths you will go to for romance. It's so rare to see nowadays. Oh my god, you, you shouldn't say that to me. This bitch doesn't know anything about romance at this point. I was thinking about you the whole time. Wow, you actually remembered my throwaway comment. You know, you're cuter than people give you credit for. If I didn't have my guard up, I can see how easily one could be taken in. Anyway, shall I give you a brief overview of each scent? It might just help you match the right scent to the right occasion. Wants to hear this. This first one is sweet as candy, straight out of a fairy tale. Younger women will love it. The second one is for those with more refined tastes, the first choice for daughters of high society. Finally, the third one has a soft but lingering scent, like a mist that captures the last light of dusk. Mature women adore this one. All clear? Don't get them mixed up now. You'll ruin the mood. I... I think I got it. Good. Be sure to come visit if you ever need help with anything, okay? I'll leave you with some parting words. One who tries to sail three boats simultaneously should be careful not to go overboard. <laughs> come and hang out with me at Scent of Spring sometime, okay? Oh. Did a search party come and get you? How did you end up getting back? Over to the Statue of the Seven. Mr. Zheng has probably been waiting a while. It's easy, easy peasy. Uh, we'll go here. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Hello. We've brought the perfumes, Mr. Zheng Li. Did we take too long? You were just staring up at the statue. Uh, oh, you're back. Don't worry, I haven't waited long. Compared to the watch that Rex Lapis's statues have kept over Liu, this was but a brief moment. <laughs> well, how can a person compete with a statue? That is true. Well, have you brought the perfumes? Three sets, and not one less. <sighs> Thank you both. Let us offer them up. This is the first kind of perfume. Miss Yinger said that it's sweet as a dream, and it's liked by younger ladies. When will Paimon evolve into the next stage Tinkerman? I don't know. It was like the very beginning of the year. 
This is the second kind. It's got an elegant smell, and the daughters of high society love it. The third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Something, something like the dusk mist. And it's a favorite of mature ladies. Oh, what was that? Looks like Rex Lapis really likes this one. That's the one older ladies like, right? Does that mean that Rex Lapis is actually an older lady? <gasps> oh my god, Paimon! <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. Rex Lapis has taken on countless forms. Perhaps that really was one of them. What a shame. We only got to see the giant dragon form, and... <sighs> Let's hope the Chi-Sing can catch the real killer. We can leave that to the authorities. Let us focus on the fond farewell for Rex Lapis. What ulterior motives do Child and the Chi-Sing have? So, we finished another step in our preparations. What's next? Next, I would like the two of you to help me borrow the cleansing bell. Cleansing bell? At present, a friend of mine named Madame Ping is the guardian of the cleansing bell. She lives near Yujing Terrace. If you ask her, she will know what to do. Sure, but aren't you going to come with us? Ah, I have certain reasons why I cannot be there in person. Please, do this for me. Man, why has he got to be so secretive this time? Why do you have to question everything, Paimon? People might have things they want to do. <laughs> Let's see, where is it? Oh, it's, it's back in, back to Leeway! Back to the harbor! I'm still in Leeway, was I do? Oh, I don't know why I said that one. Uh, uh, Upwards we go, I guess. Give me two seconds, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god, my mom just texted me something. Give me a moment. What? I'm knights so confused. and aristocrats share the same cultural heritage. I don't know what. I don't understand but the, the knights text. Had my enough mom sense to do away now. with all, right, all whatever. the superfluous details. Goodbye. Throw my phone away. Go upstairs. Go upstairs, up there. Yeah, okay. We consumed the flesh of people before we ate the food because obviously we didn't want the flesh to rot. Right, that 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 sort of makes sense. Did did um how did you guys get back is the question though. Did you guys um did a rescue party come out to get you something, something? Hello, Madam Ping. <sighs> all things must change. Are you alright? Uh, it's nothing. It's nothing. I just thought it a great shame that so many of these glazed lilies have wilted. What happened to them? Back in my day, people said that glazed lilies can read human hearts. If they heard beautiful sounds like laughter and singing, they would also bloom joyfully. But if they heard too much wild gossip or slander, they would quickly wither away. So that means these flowers feel what's happening in Lila? Yes, the rumors of Rex Lapis's death are no small matter. They are everywhere. Some say it was a Fatui plot. Others say that the Chising made it all up. And still others think that that which lies in the deep is breaking free. This harbor is like a mountain of dry tinder. 
Well, I shall say no more. This old woman's grown too old and naggy. Did you have something to say, youngster? We'd like to borrow something from you. Borrow something? Oh, you've come to borrow the cleansing bell, yes? Apart from that, I don't have anything of value that you youngsters might want. But it was not originally mine, either. That trinket used to belong to a friend of mine. Like I said, there was in civilization for miles. We eventually made it to civilization, and that's where we are now. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I was a vain beauty when I was young, and... I would pester him for that bell all the time. He could not dissuade me, and so he gave it to me. But he said that if someone should come to borrow it, I must not be loath to give it away. It has been many years, and who knows how many times someone has come to borrow this bell. Still, though, I can't recall when it started. It's been a long time since anyone has come to borrow it. Huh. These old bones are so slow to look for things. I doubt you can wait that long. I'm the Knight of... I am a Knights of Favonia certified lost property finder. What a weird thing to be proud of. Mm, shut up, Paimon. All right, children. There is no need to worry. I didn't place the bell very far away. Eh? Do you live near here, Granny? Whoa, but this is Eugene Terrace. It's gotta be expensive. Oh, an old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. How does that work? Contains your house keys? Also, I just want to mention that flesh... That the flesh was not bad as I thought it would be, but it still was disgusting. Oh, youngsters. I see. I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside this teapot, and you are quite welcome to borrow it. If you can find it. This granny is so weird. What does she mean her whole household is in here? Is she playing with us? Oh! In we go! Um... I don't know, I think I would find it pretty disgusting too if I do say so myself. There's a spider there. Youngsters, this is where this old woman keeps all her things. Quickly now, go fetch that bell. Whoa! That sounds like Granny's voice! So, this is her teapot? What's going on? Oh dear, so many cobwebs. <laughs> it seems I really haven't cleaned it in a long while. Hey. Sorry to trouble you children. Please help an old lady clean up. Come here, come here, come here. I don't really have a choice. 
beg for mercy. Oh my god. Crush. Uh, these guys have been pinned. There we go. Oh, you want me to clean it up? I might as well weed the place, right? You're not paying me much, but Zhongli is paying me enough with his uh, longing looks of innocence. Alright, uh, I need to rotate this. Okay, up we go. Oh my god, the soundtrack is so pretty. <laughs> Quite a long time. Doesn't look like she's been in here a lot. Yeah. Crush. Voila. Bye. Dandy, isn't it? There we go. Easy peasy. Up here. And we start this one. Ah, there we go. Oop ourselves over here. You know, here. with such a special teapot and the cleansing bell, do you think this old granny could also be an adeptus? I, I don't think so. But that was before we decided to roast it in a fire until it was well done. When we did that, it was juicy and tender, but not the best. But it was better than before. I, I don't know how I feel about the fact that you're saying that human meat is good. Hyman's more and more convinced that she's an adeptus. But don't they all live in Chilyung Karst? Why would she stay in the city? Beg for mercy. Oh, I Shut up. Like it. Can't blame me for being a little bit concerned, though. It is. I was never in a plane crash, but I can. But I am a psychopath. Blair. Blair. Hang on. My my PC is doing some things. I'm just checking my Wi-Fi. Whoa, 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 whoa! Let's Calm the fuck up. down. Come here, go. come here, come here. Will be mine. I really did not just do that. Shudder. 
beg for mercy. Um, but worry, but do not worry. I tried to eat more animal meat than human flesh. I prefer ven venison over the flesh of dead people. I feel like most people, unless they're actually psychopaths and want human meat, that they're not really gonna enjoy flesh even if they eat it. But I can't say because I've never had human flesh, nor do I have the desire to have human flesh. Oh, I missed. Is there anything even interesting back there? Let's see, let's find out. Let's find out. Ready? Go! I plan on getting one of these, but I don't know when I can get them. I'm pretty- is, is it like after this one that I can get it? Oh, there's the bell! Oh, you found it! <laughs> Youngsters are so quick on their feet. Oh, now, uh, oh, I see. let me see. Alright. I didn't let her finish. In and out in no time. You youngsters really are quick. Are you one of... Are you an adep, adeptus, madam? An adeptus? Oh. I haven't heard anyone say those words in earnest for a long time. As to whether I am one or not, child. Surely you already understand. <sighs> I'm kind of knows what you mean. But... Is also kind of confused. Are you really giving us the bell just like that, Granny? Don't you think it's weird? Something's just happened to Rex Lapis, and then we come running up asking for it? Oh, don't be silly. Leo Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless Adepti. But no matter what, we have always performed the rite of parting first before any other matters. To cry, catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the rite of parting. That, to me, is what is wrong-headed. Now that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. So... Why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? What if your friend doesn't return it? Oh? Well, if it came to that, <laughs> they would find a certain old lady knocking at their door. We haven't met in a while anyway. It would be nice to share a drink and chat. Well, you must have things to do. Since you have the bell, you should return. Oh, and do tell the person who sent you that if they have time, they can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. We will. Thanks, Granny. You got an achievement. Still not enough. Yep, still not enough. I need like 70 more. Um, let me just check this. What is this? Search vault. Enter ruins. Uh, nine pillars of peace. I guess that wasn't it. Uh, let's see. That's downstairs. Oh, wait, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Give me a second. Wait, wait. I want to see if I can get a pot. 
It seems my old friends just can't stand idly by anymore. Let's just hope nothing messy comes of this. May I have a teapot? I would like a teapot. I don't know how to get a teapot. Oh well. It's fine. I'll figure it out at some point. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck! No, I was supposed to be up there. It's just the stupid thing that the, the right-up parting is going to be up there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This way, this way, this way. Silk flowers, silk flowers. Lily! Ooh. Oh, is there one too? Oh, damn. Ningguang, please don't notice me. Hang on a minute. Hello. Oh. Oh, it's a good thing I only made one. Oh, it's consumable though. Yeah, it's consumable, so they don't stay around for very long, I guess. How long does it last? I don't know how long it lasts. Anyways. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, I also managed to get this. I managed to figure out how to beat the thing. The square. The cube. So that was fun. Uh, what was I looking for? This. Now Sturban can't say I'm wasting food. I have so much food. Hi, Jungli. I see you over there. I need to take my glasses off. It's digging into my face. Hello, sir. Indeed. This is the cleansing bell. Hmm. It's in good condition. Let's place the perfume we've prepared inside. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Uh, questions. <laughs> Which one do I pick? I'm tempted to tell um, Are you also an adeptus? An adeptus? That's suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. Oh, yes, that old granny asked us to tell you something. If you have the time, you can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. <laughs> That tone does not suit you. Still, her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. Zhongli is best adeptus. So what's the <laughs> next step in our preparation? Yeah, bro, yeah, I agree. Hmm. Next, we need to purchase kites. Ooh, Paimon loves kites! Are you taking us kite flying? Is this our break time? <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys, yes. But they also play various symbolic roles in Liyue's rituals. I will explain it to you. But our next course of action should probably be to purchase the kites first. He and Xiao are the best? I wouldn't doubt that at all. They're both too OP. I might have also gone a little crazy while that was going on. Oh, damn. I oh, wouldn't be surprised. Sure. Curious? Curious, sir. I would have the main character playing right now, but I don't know Time to like what's good with Geo. Cause I'm currently using the Geo one rather than the animal one. Hi. Hi, Granny. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I get a kite, please? Ah, sir, you're here. The seven kites you asked for have been made to order. Would you like to take them now? Yes, thank you. 
It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. Well, this is Mr. Zhang Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, so he's probably well versed in all these walks of life. We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. Tea, perfumes, floral, and fauna. Fashion, economics, jewelry, and jade pottery. Bro, they're both the same. I want to go with tea. He seems to know Liyue's favorite topics, money and government, really well. But he likes talking about less useful topics instead. D I don't fucking care. I'll listen to the jabbering. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. Yay. That's nice to know. <laughs> Children's toys are very fun things, that's for sure. I enjoy watching the children at play as much as anyone else. But there is more to it than that. Finely crafted toys are well loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed over thousands of years, and there is meaning behind that. I have made kites in Liyuet for 40 years, and I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. The meaning of these seven kites is far from banal. Like I mentioned, we performed cannibalism for two weeks, but that's because there were other survivors who wanted to die, so we did. As they asked it afterwards, we used their nutrients to feed ourselves. I, I I meant that it's understandable that one would go crazy in that kind of circumstances, but yeah. Indeed. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. The seven kites represent the seven. I took the liberty of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the last letter. These patterns are ancient, and you can also find them in the Golden House. Ah, Paimon's heard that meme before! Huh? Paimon, stop talking! The design of this kite displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. These Markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom in the passage of time. All this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame. As does that which the Cryo Archon once... <sighs> yes. These details are masterfully done. The compliments of a learned man truly are pleasant. Well then, Granny Shen, I shall take these back with me. As for the payment... As for the payment, he says. Well, allow me. Oh, hi, child! Hey, it's child! Did you arrange to meet here? <laughs> no, I was merely passing through. I see Mr. Zhang Li's the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. He knows a great deal about money, and about the trials of the common man. He just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. Or perhaps, you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. How has he not died of hunger yet? <laughs> oh, good question, good question. <laughs> Child. You are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, since we've purchased our kites without incident, there's no need to take a break before moving to the next step in our preparations. Oh my god, it's no wonder they're shipped together. The rite of parting requires helping hands as well as materials. We should be able to find some people near the harbor. Oh, by the way, take this bag of money. You probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, if you know what I mean. After we ran out of food for a couple of days, I was desperate, and so I attempted to give my newfound friend a quick death. While he was asleep, but I couldn't bring myself to consume half of his finger. Hmm. 
interesting. Let's see. Hmm. Seems I missed out on some interesting information. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. Try your luck, Betty on Jay. Child, why are you being such a sussy baka? You want to learn some Favonia's blade work? <laughs> all right then, I'll teach you. Oh yes, I'll, I'll teach, teach you, you all right. right. Mark my words. Dock worker? Hiring help? Sure. But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurer's Guild. I take adventuring commissions, but I don't do anything clerical. Mm -hmm. Obviously he doesn't trust... He didn't trust me for a week after that happened. Adventure. I wouldn't be surprised either. Venturing into the mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous enough. Brave adventurer, we have need for five crystal flies. That's, that's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Nah, never mind. I'll only charge you 15,000, Mora. What say you? A most fair price. No, let's negotiate. I have five fifty thousand more on hand. Uh, I don't want to give him too little. His mood is only pretty fair, so let's give him. I don't want to hang on. Let me get my calculator real quick. I don't want to get him because that it's fifteen thousand. That's how much he's given. I could give him 12,000. 50, 1, 2, 3. That would give us 3,500. 3, and I don't know what the other guys are going to give us because we need 3. Let's do 50. 1, 2, 3. Divide by 3. 60. Oh. Actually, yeah. I guess that's fair. A pleasure doing business with you. I know that's probably a little a bit too much. A full day of odd jobs at Eugene Terrace. Hmm. No problem. Twenty-five thousand per day. A fair trade, yes? Whoa, that's expensive. Um, could you give us a bit of a discount on account of the whole Hero of Mondstadt thing? Ah, oh, I see. Hero of Mondstadt? Never heard of them. Well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. Thus, I will simply pay the whole sum. He's got a better mood, so I'd say we can take our chances with 20. Hey, that's a good price. Anyone would work for this much, Mora. Okay, so I believe we still have... Oh, that's so cute. Uh, we got 15,000 15, more still. So if that dude's gonna be fair, we might be fine. Oh, help? Sure. I, Tick, always put in 100% effort into everything I do. <laughs> of course, there'll be a premium if you want me to give 110%. <laughs> oh, he's a trick. You better not get in my fur. So what's the job? Let me see. We are still missing some wooden implements over at Eugene Terrace. They aren't uncommon objects, so I didn't make any special preparations for them. We are back. All right, take your time, Blair. Uh, fetch me 50 tree branches and 20 stacks of timber. No problem. That'll be 20,000 more for a single trip. How does that sound? Done. Stop! Uh, we've brought too little money. This is all you got? Then no can do. Please go look for someone named Child. Child? Uh, no, no, no. He's putting up the money? 
Thou still no. Th th wouldn't that mean I have to make two trips rather than one? How about this? Let's make a trade. I'll take what you're offering right now, and get me a single chinksen flower, and I'll consider that payment for a detour to find this child fellow. How does that sound? Guess we've got no choice. A chinksen flower? I think I already have one, right? Yeah, I have 90. Yeah, I. Jeez, I don't even need to go and get have that. Have you brought the goods? Hey, that's pretty good. These things are pretty rare, and I have no idea where I'd find them. What? Rare? I got 92! With this chinksen flower, I should be able to pacify my daughter tonight. I'll make sure the work is done before I return home. The fuck? Rare? Rare? 90. I got 92. Well, I had 92. Bro. Open your eyes. Maybe you'd actually see one. I have this. I don't know what's they didn't know what to go for. Alright, let's see. Okay, so we need to go talk to child. Let's go run over there. Yeah, More he's speed. over here. He's over here. He's still by the kites. Hi, child. All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash is yours to keep. A favor for the Fatui should never go unrewarded. There is no cash left, you son of a bitch. We didn't perform any more cannibalism after that, except for when we cut off our ears. Our ears off. But then that was the last time. Right, okay. Alright. I see. Oh dear. Do you think you can buy us off with some loose change? No way! Paimon demands to know when the next payment is coming! <laughs> well, how does this sound? You give me the information I need, and maybe I'll leave the Northland Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an hour. What info do you need? No! Huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? Are you forgetting what happened in Mondstadt? Yikes! You're right! Signora! <laughs> you both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. That's not factually correct. The point of the ear itself is to collect sound waves so that you can hear it. If you don't have the entire ear, the sound waves are uh, uh, disordered, I do believe. The point of the ear itself is so that you can actually collect the vibrations of the air so that you can hear things. Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. <laughs> Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy, the finest pharmacy in all of... Is... everything okay? Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus mora. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Paimon definitely felt like Child wasn't happy with us just now. <laughs> Okay, I still don't have enough. It's fine. I'll just keep going and then I'll figure out what it is that I need to what do. Are you at? Pharmacy should be just around the corner. You fucked up? What exactly did you fuck up on? up there. Okay, 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 okay. It's up on the top. Alright, alright. This is fine. We're doing good. We're doing good. We've got lots of things to do and lots of... Oh, it's Chi-Chi! 
Huh. The reception is deserted. And it seems kind of spooky in here. Hello? Is anybody there? Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Huh? D did you hear that? Where did it come from? The reception, it seems. How about you go check it out and Paimon will bring up the rear. Oh my god, how do you not see the top of this head, the head of this adorable so little one here? But no cure for heartache. Hi, Chi Chi. Aw, he's so cute. Hello. Oh, there you are. But you can't even reach the counter. Paimon, if we're gonna talk about heights, you, uh. Joke's on you. Paimon floats. So height is no restriction. Anyway, there's something weird about this one over here. What's the talisman doing on her forehead? It can't be. She's a zombie. Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am Chi Chi. Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. Then, Chi Chi was saved by the Adepti. Now, Chi Chi is a zombie. So nonchalant deliver such nonchalant delivery for a bombshell revelation. Something like this would be unimaginable in Mondstadt. Well, I guess I'm gonna go to the hospital right now. So see you later. All right, I'll see you later, potatoes. Uh, hello, little girl. Do you sell everlasting incense here? Excuse me, sir. Did you bring your prescription? I... Surely no prescription is needed to purchase everlasting incense. It's not a controlled substance. Chi-Chi can get your medicine. But only if you show Chi-Chi your prescription. These are Chi-Chi's orders from Chi-Chi. Orders? Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders. And somehow in this case, the zombie issues her own orders to herself. My dear Chi-Chi, we didn't bring a prescription, I'm afraid. But we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting incense. Okay, then. How did you manage that? But Chi-Chi helps you. You help Chi-Chi. Welcome Only back, Blair. Fair. Of course, I'll help Since you, Chi-Chi. do customers need to do favors for customer service staff? Never mind. Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. That way, everybody wins. Sometimes in Liyue, the art of the deal is simply about victory via mental gymnastics. Okay, potatoes. It's fine. Go to Mount Tianhong, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a cocoa goat. Please and thank you. Hunt the what with which with the witch at where? She's playing games with us. I don't believe so. The Guizhong Ballista, at least, I have heard of before. It's a kind of crossbow turret, installed on Mount Chinhung by an adeptus in the distant past. An early mechanical device. Located in Chinhung Pass, it was designed to automatically fire at large monsters, protecting Liyue from external threats. Mr. Zhang Li really knows Liyue inside out. Don't make an age joke. Don't make an age joke. Don't make an age joke. Don't make an age. He's probably so old. He, he's been there for ages anyway. So it doesn't really matter for for the fact that he knows it inside out. <sighs> Damn it. But I'm probably just as old, if not older. I can't remember how old I am. Apparently not quite. This is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. The Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An adeptive beast. Did you want to add anything else, or...? No, just that the Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An adeptive beast. What it looks like, don't know. Where to find it, don't know either. Where it came from, also don't know. You are so clueless, but it's so cute. 
Do tell us if you remember anything else you don't remember. Very well, then. Let's start by investigating near the Guizhong Ballista. Perhaps we will find some clues. <sighs> what the heck is a coca goat? Cure for heartache. Alrighty then. Adventure! Let's go! We're finally getting out of the harbor! Oh, stretch. Alright. I've been to most of these places already. So if you don't see the little star thing, it's probably because I've already been here before. Oh, it's broken. Did I break it? It's huge! Paimon can totally believe it took an Adeptus to build this. But how do you operate this thing? Just think how much strength you would need. Hmm. It is currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. Ah, oh, what? It broke? What do you mean, Paimon? Do you not this do you not see the fact that the string is broken? After millennia of wear and tear, even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. I just need to walk and then I'm there, so I will be chatting the entire time. Okay, cool. Alright. So what are we gonna do? <gasps> Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge powers! What the fuck? Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. No! No! Oh my fucking god, Paimon, shut the fuck up. That said, let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built. No! Blair, no! As I recall... There is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. If we can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. One just needs to understand the basic working principles of the device. So, what you're saying is that you actually understand the working principles? I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. With the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. That was such a good scene. That's uh, the peeking. That's cute. Where is that supply post? Here, post. Oh, we're fine. I just opened the gates. I thought that was an issue. <gasps> Paimon may be right, but I refuse to accept it. Did I not fix it? Ah, these parts look useful. One moment. I will try to repair the device. It is done. The Guizhong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look, it even has a scope. I go to the village and visit the shaman instead of going to the hospital. Over here we have nothing. And over there, more nothing. I feel like you should go to the hospital instead of a shaman. Hey, just what do you think you're doing? Ah, shoot him! So you fixed up this turret, because you're planning to do what, exactly? Not a turret. A Guizhong Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. Ha! <laughs> Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarders, old man. Oh! Oh! You just signed yourself away to death, my friend. This area is supposed to be chock full of hidden treasures. 
but you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. <laughs> it might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its own. Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it! The next thing you'll be repairing is your faces! And that's if you get out of this alive! Oh, you've insulted Zhong Li. So it's you that has to go repair your faces. Tut, tut. Vandalizing the legacy of an adeptus for selfish gain. Disgraceful behavior. It is not we who need reprimanding, but you. <laughs> indeed. Oh, indeed. Want a taste of my hammer? You insulted him first, so you gotta go down first. Shut up! Beg for mercy. Shut up! Crush! May you all perish! You fools! How dare you insult the great Adeptus? You Beg son for of mercy. Bitch. Crush! Oh, so sorry. Bye bye. I'm pretty sure there was one more guy. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Shut up! Crush! Bye bye. Oh, another test subject? Where? Where you at? Thank for mercy. Witness the Blood of cross. Crush. I want to be in the center. I want to be in the center. Come on. Haha! Shut up. Rain outlines your. Oh, I wonder if I can make them come closer. Cut to the chase. I guess it was close enough. The shaman is way better than the hospital. He is an expert in human anatomy and it's and it's free. He's also done it perfectly every time. Crush! Beg for mercy. Alright. He died. Oh, hello. Shut up! Troubling ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We should focus on our contract with Chi Chi. Oh, yeah, that! So we've got the Guizhong Ballista working, but where's our coca goat? A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby, save for the usual wildlife. What's more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adepta beast, as Chi Chi put it. Which means... A Paimon wouldn't go that far. We did something positive, right? <sighs> we won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy, explain that we could not find a Cocoa Goat, and review our next step. Good idea. We did our best, and that's what counts. <laughs> Also, done what perfectly every time? I don't... I don't quite understand that. Oh, excuse me. Alright, we're gonna go back to see Chi-Chi. Chi-Chi, we didn't... We couldn't find your cocoa goat. I'm sorry, I can make a goat out of cocoa pops if you really want. I think. Oh, look at her, she's so small. Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. 
We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adepti Beast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. Aw, poor Chi Chi. Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? What do you need this cocoa goat cocoa for? Cocoa goat milk is tasty. So tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. Only an adaptive beast could make such tasty milk. I'm sorry. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Where did I put it? Ah, here. This is the name. Coconut milk. Jungly. We just we just wasted our time, bro. <laughs> I owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child, when perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. <laughs> Never mind, Zhongli. You didn't know. As the Leroy proverb goes, all things are random and... Um... So how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally no one could have seen this coming. Excuse me, everyone. Did Chi-Chi say a bad thing? Oh, Sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. It's time to tell you where the coconut milk comes from. No. Im impossible. Seems Chi Chi took this pretty hard. She just she just needs time to work through it. <laughs> Someone learnt a valuable life lesson today then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi Chi. Boop. A boop the snoot. About the snoot. Might I ask who? Ah, oh, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Can I have your snake, please? That's all I want. I want the snake. A boop its face. A boop its face. Hi, man. That Chi Chi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his neck. Paimon, I'm about to fucking throw you out the window. Shut up. What a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi Chi. Uh, yes! <laughs> ah, the medicine, the snake is speaking. Nothing in Liyue surprises me anymore. <laughs> I prefer to stay silent. But faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent! I believe that. I saw you moving, so I... <laughs> Paimon's just fucking stupid. <laughs> Don't mind Chengsheng. She's a good girl, really. As for you three, communal chaos causing with Chi Chi aside, what business brings you here? Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. I like how flamboyant he is. I love it. Whew, at last. Things are finally starting to come together. Three million more. Top quality. Guaranteed. Oh my fucking heart. What the fuck? That's like half of what I got. Aw, oh, too. 
too bad that Chasing have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it could be a hard sum to come by. It's a crazy number. We'd never be able to make that much more of. And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million short. <laughs> this is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Only because you don't carry your fucking mora around, Jung Lee. What the fuck? No shame. What are we gonna do? Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? No, because I got six million mora, Paimon. <laughs> Coco goat. Coco goat. <laughs> my sides hurt. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe you fell for that. Oh my god, I'm gonna go find the gift. Give me two minutes, please. Oh, right, that's still there. Ah! I found the perfect one almost immediately. Give me a moment, give me a moment. I found it immediately. There we go. <laughs> hey! Less laughter, more sympathy! <laughs> I'm almost in tears over here. Uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourselves into. Oh my god. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? Truly honored. I'm Child, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. If Boo Boo Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk, the Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution network. Strange. I knew the Fatui infiltrated businesses with seductive deals, but so much fuss over coconut milk? Coconut milk. Baiju, quick. Chi Chi wants coconut milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chi Chi, you're so cute. Ah, yes, of course, Chi Chi. Anything you want. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting incense, too. Let's say 2,990,000 mora. That's only 10 million, 10,000 mora short. What the fuck? That's like zero difference from 3 million. Hmm. 2,990,000. Also an innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it is a whole 10,000 less than the original sum of 3 million. Well, now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, little Miss Chi Chi, see you soon. He's so, he's so polite. Ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Qixing taking the Golden House. Well, well, well. Ningguang and her Qixing cronies. What else would they be hiding in the Golden House, if not the Exuvia? Oh, shit. I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have ears. This is exactly why we told Paimon to shut the fuck up. This is exactly why we told Paimon to shut the fuck up! But she doesn't know how to shut up. I know I mentioned the golden house, but that didn't mean you had to tell them that Chi the Chi Sing had a fucking Oh my god. I'm good at keeping secrets, but you can't tell Paimon anything. 
You can't tell Paimon anything. Paimon will just open her mouth and blabber shit. I swear to fucking god. Well, as it stands, we've hired helpers, and we've acquired the everlasting incense. The completion of our preparations is not far off. Woo! Finally! Well, Traveler, have you gained anything from our adventure so far? It's been... odd. Odd? Or experience the struggles of the poor? <laughs> Which is it, I wonder? The questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. As to remuneration for your help, I've decided to treat you to a meal. Zhongli, treating? Oh, ah, yes, don't worry. I will remember to bring the Mora this time. Tonight, I shall take you both to an old hole in the wall, praised throughout Liu. Hole in the wall? As in a cool restaurant? <laughs> Indeed. Let us meet near the harbor, at third round knockout. Oh. You don't believe me? What do you mean you don't believe me? Oh, you don't... Oh, you, hmm. you don't believe Zhong Li. Oh, we have enough, we have enough, we have enough! Oh my god, back to Monset, back to Monset! No way he remembers. I don't think he'll remember either. Alright, alright, alright. Ten wishes, let's go! Oh my god, please give us the boy. Pray for a five star, pray, pray for a five star, please. Please! No! Oh, come on! Ah. Well, I still got someone new. Yeah, she's new. She's new. I finally, I got somebody new. Let's uh, let's go do this since I have this. Never mind. I don't. There's. Mm, it's not refreshed yet. When does it refresh? Seventeen days from now. Oh my god! It's gonna be reset by then. <sighs> well, we have a new girl. Hello, Rosaria. Step on me, senpai sister, bro. What the fuck? Let's figure out what weapons to give her first. I don't have a lot. Base attack, physical damage, crit rate, HP. What is her abilities? Talents. I, I have done the test amount, so... She's more of an offensive girl. So maybe we'll go with crit rate? Or physical damage bonus? Oh, nice. I think we'll go with quit rate. Uh, now to figure out what I have. Crit rate. Oh, okay. Adventure crit rate. Healing bonus. I'll get one more try before I end it with... Okay. Okay, okay. Good luck with that. Crit damage. Um, crit damage. Healing bonus. Uh, crit rate. What did I 
don't know how much of that I have. Not much, I don't think. Yeah, I think that's the only one. Sure, we'll go with the exile. No, we can't go with the egg. God damn it. Ah, never mind. We'll figure something else out. This is gonna be the one where I have to do a different uh oh, fucking hell, hang on a minute. Let's change it, let's change it. So this is crit rate, what's this? Physical damage bonus HP. Should I just make her bulky? I'll make her bulky. Go with HP. That means I do have to change from the exile though, so let's try the instructor. Yeah, should have enough. Oh, cryo damage bonus. Yeah, I'll do cryo damage bonus with this one. Uh, I'll go back to crit rate, but I'm gonna do this. Energy recharge. One there. One there. Then we'll change this back to crit rate. Level, let's level this. Level her up. Awesome. Ascension, my child. Just Whoopsies. I didn't let her finish her words. Whoops. Do you want to build Rosaria Cryo DPS or physical DPS? I just build them with what I have because I don't have a lot at the moment. Okay, back to back to this reg this regularly scheduled stuff. I don't even know if I'll use Rosaria because I don't really use many of the other characters. I just use what I have on my main. There we go. Where is the restaurant? Oh, it's up there. Hi, 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 hi. Can I please sit down? Ah, you're here. There's no need to order. I've already done so. Third round knockout is not for lightweights, like those taverns in Mondstadt. Here, the owner does not take such unorthodox orders as fruit juice. So, does that mean I can order wine this time? I ordered some wine-fermented sweet rice balls for you, if that counts. I guess I should have expected this. If it is to your liking, dear customers, I shall continue the tale of Lady Ningguan's Jade Chamber. Oh. 
Yeah, I probably should. Hey! There's even a storyteller here! Great atmosphere! Besides fine wine, the excellent ambiance is the reason why this place is so well loved. But when I say ambiance, I refer to a different sort from the one the Tevat Travel Guide uses to judge other establishments. As you all know, high above the land of Liua lies a pavilion in the clouds, a palace in the mist. What does it mean to have all-seeing eyes? This, my friends, Lady Ningguan's masterwork that bridges earth and sky. Imagine, the weather is clear and you gaze down from the deck on the world below. Behold, the glorious sights of Liyue Harbor, stretching out far and wide. They say that when Lady Ningguang ponders important affairs, she retreats to her jade chamber with none but her three closest confidants in tow. Why brings she these trusted three to sift through sources, dig through documents, looking for information? Piece by piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. But well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. Having made her call, she has every last document shredded and Whoosh! She scatters the shavings out her window. Ah, look at them! How they billow in the wind like a sudden swirling blizzard. As the fragments fall, traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Liyue, like ink stains in white snow. The saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought by the paper snow. For the words of the Tianquan have the power to move mountains, and all throughout the land know it. Whoa. These are but scraps of paper, and yet they guide Lady Ningguang's hand. Such is their value. Merely grasping one or two of them will surely gift you a fragment of her wisdom. Enough to stay a step or two ahead of your peers. Tianquan Ningguang. Feels like we're hearing this name a lot. Liyue locals talk about her. The Fatui hate her. She's most likely the one who hid the Exuvia. And we saw her at the Rite of Dissension. Huh. Paimon wonders what sort of person she is. At last I have found you. You who returned from Juayun Karst. Who's there? Paimon, we gotta go. Wait. I am not with the Millilith, nor am I here to claim your bounty. However, I am an emissary of the Liyue Achising. My name is Ganyu, secretary at the Yuahai Pavilion, and I have come specifically to meet you. Emissary? Well, in concrete terms, I am the corporate secretary for the Chising. At the moment, I am serving as Lady Ningguang's special emissary. Ningguang sent you? We were literally just talking about her. My apologies, you who have returned from Jiayun Karst. I am duty-bound and cannot extend my courtesy to you in full. But I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. She extends a formal invitation to you in her capacity as Tianquan. She invites you to her palace in the sky. An official invitation? Lady Ningguang said this. Invite her to come here. I wish to meet her. At the Jade Chamber, together we shall snip every one of these entwining dark threads. Alright. And with that, the emissary who called herself Ganyu just disappeared. But we've received an invitation from the Leo at Chising. Paimon still can't believe it! We'll be meeting people that have way more money than Paimon could ever count! 
We should be on our best manners. Paimon is up to something again. <laughs> An invitation to visit the Jade Chamber is a rare honor indeed. You'd best be on your way now. But don't forget about the rite of parting. Once you've finished at the Jade Chamber, meet me at Dihua Marsh. Don't worry, we won't forget. Dihua Marsh. We'll see you there. <sighs> Ningguang and Yula, best waifus? I see. It seems you like the peeps with big boobas, right? Blair has a type. He likes Yula, and then he likes Ningguang. Well then, if it isn't the boobas, I think it's the legs. I think it's the legs. <laughs> Knights and aristocrats share the same cultural heritage. But the knights had enough sense to do away with all the superfluous detail. I got ya! I got ya, Blair! Of course I did. <laughs> you can't hide it from me, bitch. I forgot how I got to the top of that, because I've been up there before. I might as well get some while I'm here, huh? Do not perceive. Do not perceive. You do not perceive. Oh my fucking god. See the harbor from here. That's so cool. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh. Look up there. That's the Jade Chamber. That's pretty high up. You're only realizing that now? <sighs> well, since we want to go to the Jade Chamber, heading to its location on the map is the sensible thing to do. Let's look around. There has to be a way up there nearby. I have been up there. I don't think I've been up there specifically, though. I know there's a way up, because I've been up there. Wait. No, I haven't. There's a treasure chest there. Aha, okay. Climb? Oh yeah, yeah. I have a rough idea of how to get there. I want to help. Hey, look! There's some sort of mechanism thingy. Since this is the right place, it must have something to do with the Jade Chamber. Maybe it's the way to the J chamber. Yes, this must be the way. All right, onwards. Best we go back to Liwei and ask the Millilith. Huh? Why? The way up shouldn't be a secret, or... Or... Oh, Paimon 
gets it? If it was a secret, Ganyu wouldn't have let us try to find it ourselves, right? All right, let's follow your plan. Then we can... Oh, hang on a moment. Look down there. Looks like we've gotten close to the Guizhong Ballista. Hmm. Paimon <gasps> has a new idea. Why don't we shoot you up to the Jade Chamber using the Ballista? No thanks. I don't have a death wish. Oh, right. This method does seem a bit unsafe. Still, I do remember that Ballista had scope. Oh, that's right. Now that you mention it, we could use the Guizhong Ballista to see if there's another way up nearby. Two. <laughs> Trying to get back at you for after he <laughs> did. She can't get me for those comments. You wanna know why? Cause it's true. She is but food. Seely, come here, please. I wish I had a Seely, but this one's adorable, so I like it nonetheless. Hi, Seely. Hi. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Don't disappoint me. Still a long road ahead. Where'd the Sealy go? Where'd the Sealy go? Where'd the Sealy go? Wait, where'd the Sealy go? Oh, there, 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 there. Oh, that's the other one? Why was it so far away? Bro. Why were you so far away? I feel like I should have gotten a bigger treasure for that. But whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever. I see a Mora thing. Mora ferret, come here. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's too bad. That was it. Kind of wish there was more. I think we'll do a few more, and then we'll call it. I don't know how many. Ugh, excuse me. Oh! Uh, I think I will do it so that... Um... Hang on. I'll do it so that I, it's once I reach the Jade Palace, and then I'll call it there. Halt! Who trespasses on these hallowed grounds? We're just passing through. Exactly. What are you talking about? We're invited guests. What makes you think you can treat us like this? No. Wait. Maybe this was Ningwan's plan all along. She pretended to invite us to the Jade Chamber, but set up a megalith ambush here to arrest us. I'm quite sure that's not the case. Uh, now Paimon's mad! You! Over there! This is a trick, isn't it? How shameless! How shame- Oh my god, Paimon, I really want to throw you right now. What? 
We're just on guard duty. What do you mean, shameless? What nonsense! Seize these suspicious intruders at once! Well, here they come! Line them up and knock them down! Paimon, you know, this wouldn't be a problem if you didn't just shut the fuck up. Oh my god. I didn't even get a chance to change the thing. Don't blink, huh? Let's light it up. Incoming. Let's light it up. Speed of the pain. I have to get back up. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, let me switch. Let me switch, please. Let me switch. Let me switch! Ah! Uh... Chivalry will never die. God damn it. Stop messing it. Hi. Who goes there? No, my sword. No one. Your rain outlines your fate. Shut up. Beg for mercy. More speed. I want to try something. Use Kaching's ability to grab. Vengeance will be mine. She can grab. She could grab. Crush. Shudder. Blood of frost. Rain outlines your. Oh, I just let it aim wherever the hell it wants to aim. I don't really target the aim for it. Shudder. More speed. Beg for mercy. Oh, you mean to? Yeah, okay, okay. Stop! What's all this about? Kaching! Hi! You were just with me just now. Lady Kaching, these two strange people suddenly appeared. They seem to have designs on the Guizhong Ballista. Who are you calling strange? We were just looking for a way to the Jade Palace. Hmm? You want to go to the Jade Chamber? Who are you? We're invited guests here to look for the Lyra Chising. Who are you? Shut up, Paimon! <laughs> well, as it happens, I am one of the Liyue Chising. Oh! I'm Kuching, the Yuhung of the Chising. I know of you, traveler. You're Ningguang's guests, yes? Didn't expect to meet you here in the mountains. I swear to fucking god, Paimon used to just shut the fuck up. Wow. Paimon didn't think we'd meet some super rich big shot out here in the middle of nowhere either. The Guizhong Ballista in Tianhong Pass has long been in disrepair. And yet, it was fixed in a single night. I came here to investigate that occurrence. These Millilith are just here to guard the scene, not to arrest anyone. So this was all a misunderstanding? Paimon never would have thought. Thinking isn't that hard, Paimon. Anyway, for a mortal to be able to repair an Adepti mechanism is quite the mystery. Even to the Chising. Um, but isn't Zhongli a, uh, isn't Zhongli a uh, Adepti? He's an Adeptus. Uh, that was... Shh. 
Paimon, don't complicate the matter. Eh? Oh, right. So, Lady Yuhang, might you have any idea why Lady Tianquan invited us to go to the Jade Chamber? Just call me Kuching. I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. We're not taking sides. We spoke with the Adepti. They want to protect Liu as well. When you say protect, you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance, aren't you? Huh? You are mortals and thus under their protection. There was no way they would have regarded you as someone with the ability to assassinate a god. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover-up. I'll say it like it is. They're underestimating us. Well, you've got a point there. Still, this is the first time Paimon's seen a person from Liyue who doesn't respect the gods or the Adepti. <laughs> Should I respect the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Chising? Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, and Ningguang does not share it. Either way, I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance. But to think that they would call for a council of Adepti rather than come down here directly. How surprisingly civilized of them. Ningguang, which would prefer to negotiate, wouldn't she? Well, for Ningguang, she would talk anything and everything out if she could. But I doubt we can do that here. The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Yue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Yue? <sighs> Another super bold statement! Yeah, I'm still super early in the story, because even though I pro pro progressed a lot in the levels, I've been stu like, I stopped doing this story because I wasn't doing it on stream. It's just a little bit annoying, but it's fine, it's fine. <sighs> I'll stop here. Honestly, I hadn't intended to say so much. But you're a good listener, Traveler. You should both be off to the Jade Chamber. Don't be late now. Ningguang's schedule is packed to the gills all the way till next year. The cream of Li Yue's mercantile crop all see ascending to the Jade Chamber is the greatest honor. Each brings rich gifts as they visit, all to curry a little favor with Ningguang. Favor? Paimon, that's not the point. But, but, wait, that's right. Greeting gifts are a staple of Li Yue's culture. We need to get one. Not to curry favor or anything, just to respect Liu's culture. Ah, uh, so eager. All right, all right. You can decide on your greeting gift yourselves. Let me tell you how to get to the Jade Chamber first. You didn't actually have to come to Mount Tianhong. Go back to Liyue Harbor. Find a guide at the Yuehai Pavilion, and... Well then, may we meet again, Traveler. Well, that Yuhung may not respect the gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. She made a good impression on me, too. So, what should we give to Ningguan when we see her? You really have shifted your focus, haven't you, Paimon? Oh, right! Paimon dreamed of an amazing snack last night! Sugar frosted slime! Paimon has a feeling that it would be perfect for a super rich person like Ningguan. Why don't we go with that for a gift? So, do you have a recipe? Nope! But Byron's sure that we just need to make it with some boom shakalaka! Let's go gather ingredients! Time waits for no one, and neither will our riches! Oh, why does she only think of one thing? <laughs> Ah, oh, for a small person, she's incredibly greedy. Well, at least you know what Paimon's always thinking about. Treasures and riches. Oh, 
Oh, there's a Sealy. I'm not gonna care about your stuff for now. I'm, I'm more concerned about the Sealy. Crush! Beg for mercy! Crush! I'm gonna lose track of the Sealy. Shudder! What? Crush! Yeah. Where'd the Sealy go? Up here? And down here? Where do we go now? Oh. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, there's a blue one. Okay, so that's the slime we need to get. So we're gonna go get this slime first. Then we'll go on to the next line. Boop, 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 do, 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 boom, shaka, laka. Thank for mercy. Yeah. I don't up. know what ingredients Paimon wants to get from a slime. If it was just slime condensants, I have a ton of those. Why does it have to be that that specific one? Huh? Is it just Paimon? Or is there a sweet fragrance in the air? Huh? Did you hear that? It sounded like someone calling for help. It seemed like it came from those ruins over there. Uh-oh. It looks like the treasure orders have locked someone inside. No shit, Paimon. Jeez, next we're gonna call it Sherlock Paimon. Rain outlines your crush. Uh -huh. Zero. Yeah. Thank for mercy. Uh -huh. All right, bye bye. Crush. Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye. You're open. Thank for mercy. I'm sorry, but so are you. I think Shut I'm up. open, so are you, you sad, sad fucks. Crush. Oh, so sad. Too bad. How many more are there? There it goes. There you go, get the fuck out of here, man. <sighs> Thank you for your help, kind travelers. If you hadn't come to my aid, I surely would have rotted in this cell. Mm -hmm. Those treasure hoarders. When their mood was good, they'd rearrange those pots of sweet flowers. When they were in a bad mood, they'd rearrange my face. Damn. Aw, oh, it was nothing. No need to thank us all at once or anything. <laughs> Uh, I understand. Don't worry. I will compensate you both. There's really no need. Don't say that. I only escaped this predicament because of you. I'm Meng Dan, a supplier for Mingxing Jewelry in Liyue Harbor. I often walk around these mountains in search of antiques. I never expected that those treasure hoarders would have their eyes on the same ruins that I had. Before I knew it, they'd caught and imprisoned me. Is there anything that you lack? Uh, antiques, treasure, various knickknacks, you name it. Well, as long as you want what I have to offer, of course. Your goodwill is good enough for me. Wait a moment. Actually, we are looking for something. Oh? And what might that be? Do you have a box that can store presents? We'd like a pretty one. The kind that you can use to store snacks. Of course we do. How can one sell antiques without gift boxes? At Mingxing Jewelry, we have the best gift wrapping service in the Seven Nations. Now, just give me a moment, and I'll let the boss know. You can go see her whenever you require that box. Great! Paimon's sugar-frosted slime now comes in a beautiful package. Be 
sleep. Alright, back to the harbor. And we're gonna go get that box. We're gonna go get that box! I'm gonna make some what I assume is actually mochi. I'm gonna, if I see it and it looks like mochi, I'm gonna call it mochi. I don't care what Paimon wants to call it. Hi, I require a gift box. Hey there! A guy called Mung Dan told us that we could get a nice and shiny box from your store. Uncle Mung already told me about it. Thank you both for saving him. Many of the best goods in our store were found by Uncle Mung. If anything were to happen to him, it would be impossible for us to continue doing business. Here, this container is itself an antique, with at least 140 years of history. It's already been cleaned. Will it do? Yep, yep, yep! It's great! Hang on a moment. Could we borrow one other thing? Sure. Please help yourselves. As long as it's on our shelves. Traveler! This clay pot looks really awesome! If we use an antique as our mixing bowl, we should be able to make a great snack! It's done! The one and only sugar frosted slime! Carefully now, into the box it goes and dust it over with a bit more powdered sugar. Oh yes, you might want to use these two freshly picked flowers as decorations too. Woohoo! It looks beautiful! Hi, May. Actually, this looks like, um... Oh, what is it called? What is it? Uh, the rainbow... The raindrop thing where it's like water jelly? I don't know. I'm still not sold on this gift Great. idea. Now that we've put all that we've got into this box, let's go to the Jade Chamber to see Mingguang. All right, that's done. All right, so we just need to look for the guide to the Jade Chamber. I oh, I keep calling it the Jade Palace for no reason. So we need to go back up there. I think all of this jumping would take up more stamina. <laughs> Do I think it's faster? Probably. Even though it's probably exhausting. I'm so sorry, Eula. It's fine, it's fine. She's actually probably the character with the longest legs that I have, right? Apart from Ningguang Beidou. Kayan, them. She's got great legs. She'll be fine. Hello! Shut up. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I hit you by accident. According to coaching, this is what we should say. Excuse me, do you sell the moon here? Yes. How many would you like? It's not convenient to speak of numbers here. Ah, well said. Please, use this to ascend to the chamber. Ah, uh, yes, speaking of which, are you two the guests that Lady Ningguang has arranged to meet with today? Yep. And yet the code they used was not the one for guests, but for the Yuang. What's going on here? Oh, come on. I wanted to do the ascending. I've been waiting for you, returnee from Joyen Karst. <gasps> it's Ningguang! Since this is our first meeting, um, we've prepared a gift. I hope you like it. Oh, for me. You have my thanks. It seems that I have made things difficult for you, considering that you were supposed to be my guests. <laughs> oh no, it's nothing.
It's my first time coming up to a place this high up. This palace floats in the skies, higher than the peak of any mountain. From this vantage point, one may survey all of Liyue. I have been gathering the funds necessary to build it from the time I began learning the merchant's craft. And since becoming the Tianquan, I have spared no effort in hiring the best craftsmen to constantly extend it. At first, it was but the size of one room. Now, it is large enough to blot out the moon and the skies above Liyue. One day, I believe it will overshadow all seven nations. This Tian Chen doesn't does not lack for ambition. Not many from outside Liyue earn the right to ascend the Jade Chamber. But I have been in correspondence with the acting grandmaster of the Knights of Favonius, who spoke highly of you. As such, I have been putting eyes and ears out ever since you reached Liyue. What? And I finally got wind of your movements when you were on the way to Wangshu Inn. Wait, was Vergildet one of your people? <laughs> Just Vergildet? No. Everyone at Wangshu Inn is one of ours. <laughs> we also ran into the Yuhang not long ago. Hmm. At the Guizhang Ballista, yes? Uh, you were peeking on us from the skies the whole time, were you? Paimon! <laughs> I fear that peaking would have been a little difficult from this altitude. Our eyes and ears are more than sufficient. You two are very interesting people, after all. It would be natural to take an interest. Kaching said that the Chasing would not wish ill on Rex Lapis. Well, I wouldn't expect you to trust us, considering that you have had far more interactions with the Adepti. The reason I invited you here was to clear up some misunderstandings. I believe that you've heard of the Archon War. Um, rings a bell? Many gods used to walk this earth, and many long wars were fought between them that did not abate until 2,000 years ago. Much blood was shed, and many lives were lost. In the end, only seven victors remained standing in Tevat. They built cities and nations on the corpses of the vanquished, and thus began the era of the Seven. You can see Goyun Stone Forest from here, I trust. It is no natural rock formation. Those are giant spears of rock hurled by Rex Lapis during the war. Beneath the spears lie those cast down by Rex Lapis in those days, gods that failed to seize the title of Archon. Not only is it true that gods may die, but so too has the membership of the Seven changed over the last two millennia. Rex Lapis's passing is an unimaginable disaster for Liyue. But the Order of the Seven will not collapse simply because of that. Another Lord of Geo will arise sooner or later. Yet, how are we to forget Rex Lapis? When that time comes, the relationship between the people of Liyue and the gods and Adepti will surely be different from before. Even in a new era, the Liyue Chising remain Rex Lapis's former subjects. Do you really think us capable of having played a part in his demise? Of lacking the foresight to see the certain repercussions? Why hide the Exuvia then? <laughs> that day at Yujing Terrace, it was also very sudden. Even I was caught completely off guard. You were there, you no doubt saw. But our enemy has long lain hidden within the harbor. If we do not act against them now, they will surely gain the upper hand. Hiding the Exuvia was a necessary maneuver to take the initiative back, to play the spider while our foes scurry about. Who's this enemy you're talking about? What do you think, Traveler? Is it him? Huh? What are you two talking about? Well answered. Oh, the scenery out here is fine indeed, but the wind is a little strong. Our preparations to receive guests within are complete. So please, this way.
into the Jade Palace. I know I said that uh, I once we get in the Jade Palace, job. we'll end it. But I think I'm gonna... Once we get finished with the Jade Palace. Chamber. It is a chamber, not a palace. Where are the stairs in this place? It's amazing that I didn't just fly away from that. Where are the stairs? Where are the stairs? The fuck? Oopsies. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Get me up, get me up, get me out. I assumed that I was supposed to go inside, but it's not letting me in. Ah, oh, there we go. Wowee! What a huge hall! Paimon's never seen such a fancy place before. It's gorgeous. Oh my... I love it. I love it. Oh my god. Oh my god, it looks so pretty! Holy crap. This place is so nice. Bro. Oh my god. I would totally stay in this place. Uh, Ningguang, give me a moment. I'm gonna steal some of your books. Make yourselves at home if you wish. Can we really? I have invited you two here as friends. And when friends come over to play, our enjoyment comes first. Naturally. S is that what I think it is? Ooh, isn't this that legendary wall? Why, you've kept your ear to the ground, I see. That's because even the Storytellers are talking about it. All right, see Everyone's you later, after Blair. a piece of paper from that wall. It's super famous. That's because that wall records Leo's secrets. Merchants have always been attracted to secrets. But the secrets of the mercantile world are of no interest to you, are they, Traveler? You're rather special, really, and I think you're quite aware of that. If possible, I'd like to have your trust. But if you were to choose the more trustworthy person between myself and Kuching... Well, between your orthodoxy and her he heterodoxy... I'd go with Kuching and her skepticisms of the divine. <laughs> <laughs> You'd pick Kuching? Nah, I had a feeling. I originally thought her a bit too hard-headed. With someone of her character on the Chising. I've had some extra messes to clean up behind the scenes. But after she said those words, the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Well, I must say that quite a few of my doubts have been dispelled. I won't deny that Rex Lapis's passing seems advantageous to us. But, for Liyue's sake, we cannot allow ourselves to be shackled by rumors of our usurpation of power. I surmise that the Fatui have a hand in these rumors. Indeed. It seems that you understood what I meant to say from the very beginning. I called for the gag order and for the Exuvia to be hidden to temporarily stabilize the situation, and also to prevent something similar to the incident in Mondstadt. With Rex Lapis's death, the Fatui have busied themselves with many clandestine actions beyond their diplomatic remit. As the Tianchuan, one responsible for Liyue, I cannot be too concerned with appearances when opposing them. Allowing the rite of parting to take place was also meant to buy some time for us to take control of Liyue's administration. <sighs> it's exactly as Zhongli said. The Qixing only provided the venue for the rite so they could use us for their own ends. 
Wait, that's right. Speaking of ends, could I say one other thing? Of course. Byman's heard that anyone who sends a greeting gift gets a little something in return. So, does that include us? Uh, and here I thought that she was gonna be fine. No, Paimon! Seriously, Paimon? Seriously? <laughs> it's alright. I like direct people. Well, we have made quite a bit of trouble for you recently. How about this? You can pick any one object here as you please. And you may take it with you. Yay! Paimon was just waiting for you to say that! Let's see, what should we get? <gasps> One of the sheets on that wall! What? Don't look at Paimon like that! One of these sheets of paper will sell for crazy prices, even if it's only as large as Paimon's fingernail! Just imagine, how much more a whole untorn sheet would sell for! Let's grab one! The biggest one! I... I really don't want to. Huh? Well, that was an easy search. The biggest sheet is right up there in the most obvious spot. Let's go with that one. La 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 la. Let's see what's written on it. Huh? There's a place marked with a circle on here. <gasps> oh, could it be treasure? Whatever it is, it better make us filthy rich. Let's see what's written over here. Paimon has a one-track mind, and I hate where it is. Sigil of permission, something, something, Fatui, research, copy. Huh? Aw, that doesn't sound like treasure at all. <gasps> this piece of paper shows that a chasing spy discovered traces of classified Fatui research on the sigil of permission. Oh, Ningguang did say that the Fatui have been up to all kinds of mischief in the shadows of Liyue. Spreading rumors, wanting to get their hands on the Archon's body and whatnot. But research on the sigil of permission? Paima wonders what they're up to. Speaking of which, there's also some connection between you and the sigil of permission. Seems there's still more for us to find out. It's all unfolding a little too perfectly. Oh, you really think so? I don't mind Paimon's personality, but one thing that does bug me is that she refers to herself in third person. Oh yeah, she really does. Well, should we not go then? I have done so much nagging about Paimon today. It's unbelievable. No, what I mean is... Oh, so you're saying that it's precisely because we can't completely trust Ningguang that we should confirm the truth of what she says for ourselves. Hmm. That's way out of Paimon's league. Paimon thinks she's been nothing but good to us. Mm, anyway, we'll see if you're onto something. Um, before we look for Zhongli at Dihua Marsh, let's go to the place marked out on these papers and see if the Fatui really are up to no good there. Okay, we're gonna get down from here. I probably don't have to walk up the stairs, but I don't care. I'm looking all over this place. Oh my god, this place is so nice. Mm. This gives good market insight. Alright, okay. So, we're gonna head down into the harbor again, and then we'll call it there. Oh, do excuse me. How do I head down? How do I get down? Do I just jump? Voila! Alright, we're off that, and that is where we are calling it for today. Uh, thank you everyone so much for joining me today. Uh, this was exceptionally fun. Um, like I said, you guys don't have to worry about uh, my whole uh, scamming situation anymore, because that is all dealt with. And now we will hunt for somebody to raid. Let's see who is on. I may or 
or may not have seen. Yep, I thought so. The dearest General Zuina that raided us last time is on right now, so we're gonna raid her in return. Let me just, uh, General Zuina. Alright, so... I don't know if Yang is still here, but I don't think she is. So here's your raid message, everybody. Remember to copy and paste. And we're gonna go raid Zuina. She's playing Apex right now. She is the general demon and she will guide you to victory and I will see you my little thieves in the next one. Bye!